Good afternoon, you guys. Good to see you. Today we're gathering by the power of the internet. We are able to be here today and be together and look at a very, very important case, a case that's been going on since July 10th of 2015, a case that's uh, actually grown on me ever since I started looking into it. Uh, and today we have a very special guest. Before I bring them up, uh, what we're looking at today is baby Dior Kuntz Jr. When he was last seen, he was last seen in this cowboy hat, in a blue shirt, also camouflage jacket. He was also last seen at Timber Creek Campground with his parents. Not only his parents, but a grandpa, a gentleman named Isaac, who nobody trusts. So we got Jessica, the far left. We got Vernell right next to her. Then we got Bob. Then we got Isaac. These are the people that were last seen or supposedly last to be with baby Dior. Now, today we have a very special person with us who has created uh, the website, and also they have a private reward fund going on for this case, somebody who's dedicated herself because she has a child about the same age. And I'll let her, I'll let her tell you the story, Callie. I'd like to bring Callie up, and I'd also like to bring Crime and Justice up uh, as the co-host today. So please welcome them. Uh, and also, you guys will notice we will put up Callie's link for her YouTube channel as well. Uh, she's got a channel. We need to build up her subscribers. We need to get those views up. Um, she knows a lot about cases, but she's taking this upon herself to insert herself to do the greater good uh, and, and be a non-biased party to what's going on. So I'd like to wel welcome Callie and Crime and Justice. Callie, thank you for being here. Crime and Justice, thank you for being here. Thanks for having me here. Of course. So tell us what, what, what made you... Um, what what interested you in this case, and and why uh, why is it so near and dear to you? Well, um, I'll start from kind of how I like, started where my interest well, let, peaks. Let's that start way, with but... who. Let's start with who you are. How how's that? That's probably. Oh okay okay. Right? Well, my name's okay. Callie. <laughs> I'm a home time mom, so I have, have lots of time on my hands. Um, I reunite people for a living, so research is my game. And I've been doing that since I was 12. <laughs> and um, yeah, I've been doing that for over 20 years. And so I felt like when, you know, I couldn't just, Dior wasn't actually my first one that I was looking into. It was Lisa Irwin that actually caught my attention. And I was just like, wait, what? And so um, when Dior's case came up, I was actually laying on the couch with my daughter. And they're the same age, like literally by two months. And so he went missing. I was so worried. I mean, it was just that internal feeling you know that is he hiding is he cold all weekend you know so um the further I just got into the case the more I just felt like there was something in my opinion wrong with it and that there was more poking around that needed to be done so I kind of felt like maybe I had some skills to like offer um in researching you know like you know profile I, I like profile really well <laughs> Um, right. when I find somebody or try to find somebody, I will find that person. And then if they don't have a social media, I'll branch out and branch out and then reach myself all the way back to that person originally in a different way. So I just thought I had some investigating skills that I could put together. Um, but really how it kind of started for me to be more involved was there was a California baby that was found in California two months after this little boy went missing. He looks strikingly, strikingly the same. Like it was so bad um, that the police had to send officers down to California several times just to make sure that it wasn't Dior. Um, to this day, 100% sure, no. <laughs> but I'm just going to take their word because I've been in contact with the sheriff and the detectives and, you know, and they gave me their personal opinions. And so I kind of either got to take it with a grain of salt or lean on a lot of it being true. So, so you're you know, not a um, nosy, you're you're not a nosy Nancy. You're just you're just you you really wanted to just get into this thing and 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 dive into it and 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 you like to bring facts, yeah. not not speculation, yeah. nothing like that, right? Yeah, I mean, of course, I started with my opinion. Um, but what really you know what really did it is that uh, the dad I had I messaged the dad through Facebook, and he was 
I, I was mean about it, you know. So I wrote him a, a mean message and I said, I think such and such person was involved. Um, I feel for you. You know, it wasn't me being mean towards him. It was me blaming a family member in the circle. And he kind of came back at me like, who the hell do you think you are? And I'm just like, sorry, I'm just trying to figure it out for your son, you know. And Bro, um, we could get tied up. We could get tied up into our own thoughts, our own theories, our own speculation yeah. of, of what happened right but uh yeah. you don't take that into to what you what you have on the website and things like that and we'll get into no. the website here in a little bit um yeah but so you got into this thing because you know another case of you know you know you were dealing with before this you know and 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 then this one really struck you know home, close it home really field. struck me he's the most right. adorable little boy ever and the and the amount of support that i've seen around him it encouraged me to stick around and go further. Um, I have literally told myself that I'm going to sponsor this child. I'm, you know, and when you say that or, or advocate, and I say I, I'm an advocate, I'm a non-family member supporter advocate. Um, my, my role is to just do my best to spread his name, do all those things that an advocate would do. And um, I just, you know, it, it's, it's, it's just one of those cases you can't let go, you know. So let's take Not you back. To June, let's take you back to June tenth, twenty fifteen, when uh, baby July. Dior Coons, uh, July. I'm sorry, uh, when baby Dior uh, Coons went Junior went missing. Now they're at a campsite. Yeah. It's these yeah. these four. We got Jessica, yeah. the mother, starting from the far left, and we got Vernal, the father, and we got Bob, who's got an oxygen uh, tank that he carries around with. And then we have the crazy. Uh, creepy friend Isaac right now right. Isaac now Isaac went that day or to the camping trip with to fish with Bob and to hang out with Bob but Jessica in fact was Bob's caregiver caretaker correct right right yeah right so when Bob was asked why Isaac was even there if he trusted him in his to sleep over at his house Bob said no would you trust him around your money he said no would you trust him around this? He said, no. Then why would you bring him on the trip? He said, that's a hell of a that's question. That's a hell of a question. Yeah. <laughs> that's a hell of he a did question. say that, didn't he? That's right. He did he say did. that. Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. Yes, he did. And it, and it is that's a hell so of a question. It, it makes me feel like he distanced himself at that point from his friend, you know. Um, it obviously wasn't a close trusting friendship. It was just probably boys getting together and doing their thing. But when you involve I think, I think, family, there, I think, I think oh. there's some creepier, weirder stuff going on there. Sure. Hey, you know what? There could have been. <laughs> I think there's some deviant stuff, some sexual deviant stuff going there. We lost. Wasn't it. wasn't Isaac? She'll be, back. She'll be back in a second. Go ahead. But wasn't Isaac? He was neighbors with the grandfather, right? Well, Isaac they, did some he, yard work. He did some yeah. yard work for him and things like that, and then it became a different yeah. kind of friendship. And Callie will be back, you guys. Uh, here she is right now. <laughs> Everybody, welcome back, Callie. There you are. All right. I don't know what happened. It just cut me off. <laughs> it's that creepy. It's that creepy Isaac. Right. Creepy Isaac. Yeah. Right. And, right. Then, and then and then we have the weirdest kind of testimonies from these people. And if you guys could just take a second to listen to this. Um, you don't want to get things shared up too much. You know, mm -hmm. so you find out what's going on. Mm -hmm. You know that. My mind tells me, at first my mind told me, that that time this, this motherfucker killed my son, this motherfucker had something to do with it. I don't care um, if it's my grandpa that's guilty. I don't care. Like, I just want my son back. What? What? I don't care? Yeah. Not hearing it. Yeah. Yeah, that, <laughs> that struck me as odd. Does that blow your mind? It does. Yeah, totally. Yeah, it kind of kind of made me wonder, right? And, and I'm wondering, okay, this father, who's a truck driver too, right? Is he he's got the truck driver mentality, right? Um, he kind of right. knows how stuff stuff works. And now there there was a speculation that that and well, let's let me let me break down the theories for you guys at the campground, right? There's there was three main theories, right? And Callie, I'm sure you know these right. by now, right? The animal yeah. attack, right? Mm -hmm. Then we have the abduction. Mm -hmm. 
Then we have the family involvement. But the right. fourth one came out, which we all suspect, and we've seen in the West case for those boys, that they disappeared before that date. Yeah. So there's a chance that something right. happened a day before or a couple days uh -huh. before. Who knows, right? Yeah. So now there's four theories on yeah. the table. That's right. And then we got two parents that what? The sheriff describes it. And they could not pass the section on, do you know where Dior Coons is at this time? And do you know what happened to him? They could not pass those two parts of the polygraph. We've given them too many opportunities to tell us what happened if it was an accident. And there's been no interest in going that direction. That t So that tells me there's only one other uh, possibility. It's, it has to be a homicide. Pretty strong evaluation, right? Right. I mean, it's it's kind of interesting how the previous sheriff and the and the new sheriff, their thoughts on the case is is very, very different. Very, very different. Well, it's it's, it's, it's um, kind of odd also. And I don't know if you know this crime and justice, but there was not one. But there was two private investigators on the scene. Yeah. Three all right? together now. Yeah. Three now. Total. Oh, but, no. Oh, well, we're yeah, working on three. third one. The, they're okay. trying to get got, client, got, client back, yeah, right? Yeah, you, you've got Frank built. He believes the parents had sold the child, more like Jessica behind Bernal's back. Um, it, and then you have Klein, who leans on the parents' guilt 100%. Um, he right. feels that he has climbed to the highest level and just about cracked the case before he has kind of pushed into a lawsuit, a couple of them. And, right, I was going to say. It staggered the case for so long. It, it was well, well, really well, upset. Well, let, let, me, let, let me just help you out here then, Callie. Let me show you something. Frank Vilt. He quit the case by sending the family this letter. And I said, I am withdrawing from the investigation. My stipulation was both of you would be absolute truthful. In my professional opinion, both of you lied and misrepresented the true facts that could possibly solve the mystery of your missing son. Sooner or later, the truth will come out. We, this guy spent 19 years with the U.S. Marshal Service. He's retired now, but Vilt told us he knew the family and got involved because he wanted to help. When a mother has lost her child, she looks into a camera and says, I want my child. Please help me find my child. I love my child. But she didn't want to do that. Powerful. Yes. Yeah, that Very powerful. Yes. Definitely and, a, uh, a strong statement. It's a very strong someone, state. Why is someone getting run off a case? You know, we've seen this with, with um, even in, like I say, the Cal City case with Bill Garcia. He was ran off yep. the case, too, when he got close. And I was out there on right. foot. Right? Right. I was, I was right. searching on foot out there. So I, I get I get the intimidation factor than the other stuff. But this guy has a very declarated background. Right. Very declarated. Mm -hmm. You're not going to scare him off, right? No, he's a U.S. He's an ex-U.S. marshal, and he's tracked yeah. down nineteen children, including his own. So, you know, you, you're not going to scare him off. He has, he has, he left for a certain reason. Yes, he knows these parents know something more. Right, right. And I mean, how much money is he going to keep putting into the case or his time if you don't feel like the people you are talking to um, as even being honest so i mean you're not going to get anywhere so his time was kind of just wasted in his opinion yeah so, for sure so we've got four people who can't be trusted right none of these people right. from left to right right we yeah. got the two parents who are now separated right 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 D different yeah. relationships and and, and yeah, jessica it's... jessica had a previous relationship where she actually gave full custody of her other two kids away to her husband, right? Her ex-husband. Yeah, and you know, some people want to say that she just didn't want any kids. You know, there are some things that I will stick up for the parents, and I, I can't important. believe I do that. But yeah, I mean, it was more better for the father to take the children as he was more financially stable. So, I mean, it makes sense. Not everything I agree. has to be picked apart. But yeah, that one makes sense to me. You know, I she wasn't on really that. on her feet. Yeah. 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 I agree. The last thing you want to do is put still, other kids in danger, right? Oh, yeah. She right. still saw her children on a regular basis. So it's not like, you know, she abandoned them or anything or didn't want them. They went through a divorce and they, 
you know, had to make that decision. So I think that right there is probably, um, that's probably nothing. And now can we take a second just to listen to Bob and, and their, their little interviews again, little tidbits again, because listen to how they talk, listen to their demeanor, watch these people. These are the people who, well, hell, possibly killed their child. Right. You don't want to get things shared up too much, you know, mm -hmm. so you find out what's going on. Mm -hmm. You know that. My mind tells me, at first my mind told me, at that time, this, this motherfucker killed my son. This motherfucker had something to do with it. I don't care um, if it's my grandpa that's guilty. I don't care. Like, I just want my son back. What's even crazier, the guy on the end, Isaac. Yeah. The parents, Vernal and Jessica, didn't even know. They met him the first time on that camping trip. Yeah, but how? how I mean, how is that the first time Jessica met him when, he spent, when she's been Bob's caregiver for over a year? That's right. kind of confusing to me a little yeah, bit. I mean, it don't and make he was sense. doing yard work and stuff for Bob. So right. right. She would have yeah, I mean, at least I mean, ran into him at some point. Yeah. Yeah. It, it doesn't quite make sense. I mean, mm -hmm. maybe there's a reason that we don't know. I mean, maybe every time that he saw him that they weren't around Jessica. I, I don't know. But it, it is kind of odd that she doesn't know him. What's Bob's background? Is he Is he known to be heterosexual or or is he? gay or do that you know? i don't know I, I didn't really dig too far into bob as far as like his past i know that um i, I want to i'm not sure if i don't remember if he's trina's real dad or stepfather just but, the reason um, i'm asking the reason i'm asking is because if there was some kind of sexual deviancy going on between him and isaac where, right where that could have been you know and, and then they could have done something to dior right because well, I mean, well well, it makes you wonder. Bob doesn't even Bob doesn't even remember, you know, being asked to watch him, and 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 he's like, I don't even remember being asked to watch him, and yeah, but he walked right, off, right. and like, it, right. it's just their stories aren't adding up, and it seems like everyone's starting no. to turn on each other, right? The cookie is crumbling. yeah. Well, there's some things that come out later, like um, Isaac has actually claimed that Bob was sleeping in the in the camper, and that he was never actually watching Dior um so uh, there's that you know and bob did mention inside of an interview with klein that he might have gone to sleep so you had you kind of when you hear these stories i mean i guess i i was raised with a bunch of liars so i don't know what if that really trains the mind or not but it's really it easy to pick out some things you know and well, well if you've been a liar or you've been a bs -er, or you've been full of shit then you can tell who's lying and bsing and who's full yeah, of shit. yeah 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 it, it, yeah it's a character trait you you actually learn, uh, right? You know, uh, my my feeling is this: is that um, if something like Bob and 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 Isaac weren't that way together, uh, I could see Isaac doing something to a child. Um, but these parents, to me, they're well. See, the, the father, the father's, the father's lie detector test. It, he's he's trying to claim that you know everybody's come back inconclusively. Uh, right. His came back inconclusive, but as as deceit. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it, his wasn't inconclusive. His was actually failed hardcore. They couldn't they couldn't pass the, mm -hmm. the control questions. Um, are you going to tell the truth today? They couldn't pass the questions. Do you know where your son wow. is or what happened to him? You know, so those are the kind of questions that they failed. And they didn't only it, fail once. They failed nine together. Is it quite possible that Jessica and Vernal were having uh, problems? And like yes. Isaac would be a good, like Isaac would be a good escape. Uh, escape yes. For them to be able to do something yes. or hit him to do something and blame Isaac. Yes. Um, and, and I feel that there's a reason why they went to his house five times. Um they were, they were adamant to make sure that they had the right person on the trip with them. Was it grandpa's adamancy? I don't know, maybe, but it seems a little odd. I don't know anybody who continues to make sure it's very important to go pick up that person that they don't even know. So, right. and it's not meant in their written statements either. So it's kind of like, there's some things added later and I could see that how that can happen if your memory is catching up or whatever, but a lot of things have been repeated for so long to add new things. It's kind of odd. Well, it seems like, like I don't know what the reason is between the parents splitting up, 
or wanting to split up. I think it it was going on before Baby Dior went missing. Yeah, um, I think there was some cheating going on. I think in some something was going on there. Yeah, and so. <clears throat> and um, well, the only way to keep someone with you is right uh, a tragedy, right? Something of the, of that nature. If it's if it's a for sure breakup right. thing, it's it's coming. Like what's going to keep you together? What's the final straw? Uh, and which right. which vindic- which which one's the most vindictive one? Is it uh, Bernal or is it Jessica? I would right? say I mean, Bernal. So it seems like really with his would. with his statement, like like we just heard again, we'll listen. You to don't it. want to get things shared up too much, you know, mm-hmm. so we find out what's going on. Mm-hmm. You know that. My mind tells me. At first, my mind told me. At that time, this this motherfucker killed my son. This motherfucker had something to do with it. I don't care um, if it's my grandpa that's guilty. I don't care. Like, I just want my son back. I don't get it. I don't get it. But the, he's too confident, uh, okay. right? right. He's, 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 I mean, have you, heard this, have you heard the one where he goes in there and talks to Klein and he's like, well, you're probably going to get four different stories from us. I mean, why would you go in like that? <laughs> Well, well, he was that's pretty really much cool. saying it. it's the state. It's the state that he's the is the reason he failed that polygraph, right? He, he blames everybody else. He's, yeah, something something behind this man, Bernal. There's a vindictive, uh, mentally deranged kind of lunatic feature to him, and that's just the way he maniacal. Be, his, yeah, his behaviors, the way his mannerisms are. He seems like right. uh, it's it's a hide and seek game that he's not going to tell, like. Jessica was offered a deal early on too, right? She was offered a deal by the sheriff that if you tell us yeah. where DR is, you, you'll go free. Yeah. Right. Right. I wonder yeah, if it's a if there was a reason why so they couldn't now. produce a body. You know, I mean, I, that's my speculation. Like if 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 they had, you know, if that's what to happen, if they had done something to his body to where it's no longer, or you know, put it in a place where it's not findable, you know, something that they couldn't produce or, you know, as liars do, um, they will stick with their story to the very end. And why? Because oh, yeah. they're not just worried about getting caught. They're worried about people thinking bad about them and, you know, what their families and friends would think. So, yeah. yeah. Right. I mean, they're, they're some people that are, you know, going to lie like that. They're going to hold on to it to the bitter end, no matter how, no matter how many times you can say, we know you're not telling the truth, you know, they're still oh, not right. going to give it up. Right. And you know, that one, one way you can tell that there's some lying going on is when the F word is thrown around way too often, way right. too often. Defense mode, the F word comes out. I mean, I can't yeah. tell you, I mean, I have a 20 year old and a 24 year old. I can't tell you how many times they've lied and how many times I see right mm-hmm. through it. And- mm-hmm. They're familiar. I mean, they all do the same thing. <laughs> yeah. All right. Check, check this out. Um, play this for you. I guess I didn't have this downloaded, so let's do it this way. I've been in here and getting him with four people up there. I don't think somebody could have drove in without you hearing a car and turning around and looking to see who it is. I I just don't think it's possible. There's always a possibility at some type of a nature take and and then there is that possibility of an abduction. You can't close the door on on any of those things at, at this point. Four people were at the campsite when he vanished. Dior's mother, father, great-grandfather, and his friend, Isaac. None of them say they heard a getaway car or saw any dangerous animals. They are the third theory. There is where things change. On November 23rd, 2015, four months after Dior disappeared, the family began working with a private investigator to help locate the child. He asked them all questions on camera in separate rooms. When the investigators handed over 10 hours of video to us, we knew we were on to something. When we played the video, we learned their stories aren't exactly the same. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, it means somebody's oh. not sticking to the script. That's yeah, totally. Sticking to the yeah. script, right? Right. Somebody I just saw a clip of 
I just saw a clip of uh, Vernal in the hotel room with Klein. That I call that the lug nut story. <laughs> that, that's just the best way to call it because he just goes on and on and on about this lug nut. And um, like I said, I had reached out to the father and he had actually reached back and he said, who the hell do you think you are? And I was like, I'm just sorry. I'm just trying to help you and your son. I'm, I'm sorry that all that happened, you know, and, and I thought he's like, Oh, it's okay. I'm just tired of people treating me like this. And I was like, all right, you know, no big deal. But that was the end of the conversation. It wasn't until like three hours later, it was like 10 o'clock at night. Vernal writes me back and says that my husband's a lucky guy. He kind of picked the wrong person. I'm sorry. And I know he's probably watching because I think he messaged the site last night in a angry, angry tude. So, um, yeah, he, he kind of slipped a few things. So what he did. Are, are Vernal's is, watching you right now, you think? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Last night I got a. I got Hi, Vernal. This, um, hey, Vernal. Uh, hey, Vernal. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now. Tell the truth. How's that? I know, right? Oh, I'm guaranteeing that he's going to see this. Um. Yeah, let's and, just tell him uh, right now. Vernal, Vernal, your life's going to be miserable, especially since 30 countries right. watch me. There may be only 173 in here right now, but I tell you, right. it's going to go way up. Um, right. Pal, uh, you and, and, and Jessica, if you're watching, uh, whoever tells on the other person first gets the better deal. Don't forget that. Bobby, Bobbo, Bobalicious. Bob's you're out gone. There, Bobby? Bob's gone? Bob died. Yep, Bob died. Bob, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> right. Bob, I had rest a statement for you, but rest easy. All right. Um, I hope you didn't do anything. If you um, could send us a message yeah. from up there, that'd be yeah, great. Yeah, if you could just send us a quick uh, <laughs> super chat, let us know what happened. You know? Uh, great. Bobo. Uh, uh, okay, so Bob's gone. You know? Bob got gone. Okay, so we have <laughs> Isaac. Isaac, uh, Isaac, if you're watching, don't be a predator. Uh, let us know what happened. Tell us. I think, to be honest with you, I think Isaac's a scapegoat. And that's my opinion. But, you know, to be biased and fair, any one of them could have done it. That means that that means that Bob would have had to know what happened. And that's why Bob would have had to invite him to bring him as the scapegoat. Right. So Bob's story is going to be something we'll never get. Right. Right. Or, you know, here's another thing that I thought. Maybe it was maybe something happened at home and the parents needed to create a thing. And um and Bob had mentioned probably in the prior past that there was a camping trip he wanted to take or he didn't, whatever. But they got him to go camping and they got Isaac, him to get his friend. Isaac would be a great escape goat. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's, yeah. what, that's the, the first thing. The, 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 bring the creepy guy. He looks like the perfect right. goat, right? right? That's right. what I was going to get to. There's so many the things parents. that. Well, they yeah, there's so many they things went... that lean on this creepy guy, you know, this creepy guy. And it's like, yeah. okay, first of all, I don't think he looks creepy. I think he looks like he has some mental challenges, but he overall seems like a really nice yeah. guy. I have seen photos of him in the, the bar um, flirting with people over the years. Um, but, you know, I also, I also know a couple of people who have been in touch with him. He didn't spill anything, but he, he was generally a nice perfect, guy. He is the perfect scapegoat. Perfect. Perfect Look scapegoat. At perfect. Look at him. Yeah, I mean, he, he yeah. just wants to help. He just and wants to help. Of, uh, some of his I, uh, interviews where people were talking to him, he he did seem like he may be a little, you know, uh, handicapped. I don't. Yeah. Think he's cre- well, I don't. According- I don't think he's creepy as a ped- p- uh, pedophilic kind of person. No, I, I think, I, I think maybe he's just a little bit, you know, challenged. I think so. Well, well. I think uh, one of the people that I talked to in the law enforcement said that he had a, a pretty traumatic brain injury. So I don't know when that was or whatever, right, but right. um, it did happen. Something happened. And it could make him, that would make you him know. that would make him even more easier right. target, target to take right? advantage of. Yeah. Right. 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 Uh, now um, Vernal Vernal was a truck driver, so he's got a truck driver mentality too, right? Yeah. 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 So you gotta understand he understands how the roads work. Right. And he, he travels all the way to eastern Washington down to like um I wanna say California, uh Vegas and uh I'm not sure if he made it to New Mexico in there, but he traveled a lot um, for all that stuff. Right after Dior went missing, he did travel to Eastern Washington, and he did have a friend over there. So some people speculate, you know, has Dior's body been moved? Um, if 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 it was, you know, buried. Well, truckers, um, truck, some truckers will take a payment to, to move some cargo and not even question it. Right, right. 
Right. Especially if your company, his boss was his friend. So <laughs> kind of helps. That. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of helps. I mean, you kind so, of had all, all the things. So, so we could kind of think that possibly this baby was injured or hurt before the camping trip. The camping trip trip was secondary. That was the way to get rid of the body or the way to have the abduction. But if only four people are there and nobody's in or nobody's out besides them, how can nobody, what happened? Right. right. Yeah. I mean, well, you have, you have some, um, the one video that you're going to want to pay attention to when you go into the YouTube channel area is the timeline video of their own words. I created it myself. Um, I pulled every single thing that I could possibly think of. I'm down to like interviews with timestamps and their slip ups and like just everything you name it is it's in there. Um, the one thing that is no longer true is the fact that the phone pinged on Wednesday night. Um, I believe that that was a tactic thrown at them to see if they would talk, but it came out that it's, it didn't happen. So, um, so if you see that, that's, that part's wrong, but yeah. Uh, the one thing that, um, the one thing that really sticks out, this is, this is a reason why I can't go anywhere. Okay. Cause I, like I said, I talked to Vernal. And the very first time I got him on the phone, um, he literally rambled. He rambled so much that I didn't expect to hear, hear him say what he said. Now, I still don't know how to place this in the story. But he said, he just started going off about, yeah, the last time I saw my son, he um, was in my driveway. No, driveway. Okay, so. He's in my driveway and he's walking around the truck and he's, you know, noticed a lug nut missing and in his hand went under the tailpipe. I cleaned him off and I sent him inside for just to get cleaned up. And well, if you heard that lug nut story, does that sound familiar? <laughs> so I, I was jaw dropped. I was jaw dropped that he placed me in his driveway and a home and um, he's working on his, uh, I thought it was a Corvette. I learned later that it's a Mustang. Um, that Dior what's actually the, scratched what's the, what's, what's the story? Remember Jessica? She had a she had her period, and she's like, "After you finish your breakfast, we have to go. We're not waiting yeah. any longer, right? right? Go to the store, and they right. have to travel out of the area and go. Now, did they have yeah. baby Dior? Did anybody see him? I mean, they had friends in town that would have seen them. He stopped and gets nobody and saw a few him. other things. Nobody saw him. Right. So no, nobody saw him before Absolutely he even not. gets her her um her tampons or whatever she needed, right? Like she, he did not. Yeah, even like they made a stop. To help. They made a stop to the store, and they didn't get tampons. They only asked for gas. Got back in the car. Got lost in this um, max of a hundred people town. Now, I mean, yeah. it looks like a ghost town. I don't know how you get lost. You can see over every building, um, and so they used that excuse for like diesel. They needed more diesel than they really purchased. Um, yeah, nobody saw him. He supposedly was running around flirting with the clerks. He was put up in this Budweiser truck that was parked in the back in the front seat. Um, and he was there when he got gas. None of these people who were tracked down by Klein himself uh, remembered a child. And not only that, the trucker was like, I, I would be against my law to put a child in my vehicle. You know what I mean? So. Um, there was a lot of things that were kind of just quoted and thrown out there, but every single one of them were checked into. And so that was, that's, that's really interesting is like, why, why are you telling everybody that, you know, he was seen by all these people, but no and one's what's seen the, him. What's, and what's the deal with her? Um, if, if she knows she's going camping and she knows it's about to be her time to need feminine products, don't you think she'd be prepared? I mean, there's something right? off to me for I that mean, trip. What was the trip for? The trip was a last minute um, grandpa trip for camping because grandpa supposedly changed his mind. He wanted to go right away. Supposedly it was also a week, um, a week long plan and Jessica and Vernal were not a part of it, but supposedly the mom Trina, the grandma Trina wanted um, Jessica to go with. Vernal wasn't very happy about it. And that's supposedly how they started this whole idea of camping. Ver Vernal's B.O.B. He's banking on Bob. He hates That's what camping. he is. He, he's banking on Bob, right? Bank, he's banking that Bob not being able to have a testimony now is, is his. Oh, all right, right. Yeah. Oh, and not only that, that Bob was questioned, you know, where you see his question. But when there was a later date where um, Klein and his team went out there, 
to literally talk to Bob all by himself when Trina had found out that Bob was being talked to um, without her, it was a big disastrous mess. And I don't think Bob was ever spoken to again after that. It's crazy. Well, I don't understand why. If you, if you guys, if you guys did miss it, here's, yeah. here's the only statement from Bob. You don't want to yeah, get those are, and there's, there's several of them. But, you know, yeah. where you find out what's going on. Mm-hmm. He says, you don't want to get things stirred up. You know that. What does that mean? Callie, you mute it. There you go. What does that mean? Uh, uh, you you don't want to get things stirred up. up. You know that. From grandpa? Yeah, yeah, I think he just doesn't have those stories correctly. You know, he doesn't know what to say. He but doesn't remember anything. Story, all four of their stories were different. Yeah, they were yeah. different. And I think I think he might have suspected something happened after. So, um, and I guess this, this is my opinion based on facts, based on their words. Their words, um, so if you go into justiceforbabygear.com, on the top of the page, uh, you will see a play button. Please, I suggest you push play. It says so much in Vernal and Jessica's own words. They contradict each other so much. Um, mm-hmm. Lies have actually poured out to where people can pinpoint that now. So I'm really super excited. It's an 18-minute long you know, audio. Oh, yeah. Perfect. This is it? This will tell you a lot. Right? Is this this is what you're talking about? Yeah, I I, I broke this down. Yeah. yeah Why that, would Bernal feel the need to have the conversation with his dad? Did his dad know more about what happened to Dior? Oh, you have to rewind that. You will Did never you know rewi- because since rewind this it? case has happened. Yeah, yeah rewind it. Two thirty six is when she called, and I was right about here. Yeah. Fine. Was it 226? It was 236 when I You're going to laugh. It was 236 is when she called, and I was in the truck hauling down to the road to try and get service because I didn't think one bar would get it. So she got very, very lucky. I was blessed that she was able to get service because I didn't th- I didn't want to try and risk getting halfway through my talking to 911 and have it cut off. So I went down to where I knew I could get a little service about a half mile down the road. Uh, we searched for after about 20 minutes and in a dead panic not knowing where he was in such a small area and not knowing never being there i knew i was in trouble i called my dad told my dad what the fuck was going on i tried to call my dad but he didn't answer that was it so now i'm in a real panic because my dad was always the one that if, that I, if I needed something or i needed to calm down i called my dad and he was the one to deal with that shit. he didn't answer so now i'm really fucking panic but this time he goes out of the campground right <laughs> Okay, to make a phone call. Now, who does he call? Um, he said he was going to call 911. Mm-hmm. And I know that he talked to his dad. Okay. Why did Bernal feel the need to hide the conversation with his dad? <laughs> he starts out by saying that he talked to him, but quickly retracts that and says he tried instead. In an interview with Jessica and David Marshburn, Jessica reveals that after Bernal called 911, that he indeed did speak to his dad. Again, why would Bernal feel the need to hide the conversation with his dad? Did his dad know more about what happened to Dior? We will never know because since this case has happened, his dad has since passed and will never be questioned. Had he been questioned, it makes you wonder what would have been revealed. Maybe Dior's case would have already been solved. Yeah. As far as I know, I thought baby Dior was still behind us oh, and I was showing here, Jessica. Yes. Like when, when I went to go show them the f- f- fishing hole, like I went down there and showed Jessica where the fishing hole is and I assumed that, you know, Dior and his dad were right behind me. What would, if he, what if there was an accident? What would do you think? Do you think that's possible that an accident happened? I'm pre- yeah, it could have been an it could have been an ex. I'm, you know, could be possible. Do you know anything as far as Robert Walton, the grandfather? Have you heard how his health's doing? We heard it's not doing very well. That's what Listen, I heard. He, he's on oxygen. He's on oxygen. Shouldn't he have already been on oxygen? His great grandson's missing. Mm-hmm. Did you and Isaac talk about? He was on oxygen the at the campsite, was he not? That's the question. Yes, he was. I thought. <laughs> Vernal, yes, he was. Can, you, can like you guys hear Isaac okay? 
Yeah, I, it, it appears that Isaac did not see Grandpa with oxygen because he is shocked to hear that he is on oxygen after the case. Yeah. Hmm. It's telling. Odd. It's telling. Odd. Yeah, that is. Yeah, very odd. weird. And so you heard, um, you know, <laughs> Vernal in there about his dad. Um, that was pretty funny how that came out. Like, right. that was it. Yeah, that's what it was. Like, yeah, that just, that throws me off. Um, you know, I, I just, <laughs> I wonder what he had actually told his dad on the phone. And I think that the reason why he said he didn't talk to his dad is because had his dad known something and he mentioned his dad, you know, he's going to be interrogated and maybe right. he would break, yeah. you know, or, or police are going to show up at his house with cadaver dogs, et cetera. So um, I'm just thinking that there's something really big right there that there, that conversation was hidden on purpose. The also the mm. things that have changed since their statements is, is that not only did he go all down the road once, he went down the road twice and he also went down a third time. <laughs> so it, mm. it just keeps coming more and more. And this is all before Bob found out that um, Isaac or that, that Dior was missing. Now Isaac places himself sleeping or fishing the whole entire time. Now, whether yeah. let's just say that's true, then he saw nothing. And if grandpa is asleep in the camper. Like Isaac says, then anything could have happened behind the two of them back and rushing around, hiding New York for a moment, whatever, you know, um, and then say, hey, he's gone. And it's really easy for those two to believe the story, right? I mean, um, right. in the first interview that I saw, I've been sitting here going over it and over and over again because I see new things every time I watch it. And I'm wondering if Jessica is really a part of it at all. You know, to be honest with you, I think there's two scenarios for me. One, that's not going to happen at home. And then... I'm going to go with the camp story, right? But so it appears that um, Bernal and Dior never went down to the creek, like said. And Bob also thought that um, I that the baby was with Bernal. So if that's the case, Bernal was with Dior the whole entire time. Bernal was the last one exactly with him. What, yeah. He was the very last one. Never went down right. to the creek. Um, Jessica even stated that to um, Caroline Klein, which is the daughter of um, P.I. Klein. And she literally says, why did Jessica tell me that you were never at the creek and that you were with Dior for 20 minutes at your truck the whole entire time? Let's take that as truth. Because sometimes if Jessica, let's just say Jessica's innocent, she's going to want to spit out something here and there, right? So, right. Um, yeah. Well, the I reason why she like couldn't the take them to a body uh, or, or do that is maybe she just doesn't know. Yeah, that's... It yeah, yeah, like, it, where's too. your, Maybe he's off the mountain, know. you know, is that the last place she remembers him being, or was that a statement that was, like, well, I what, knew what really, he... what really gets me is this, it's re it, and listen to her statement, you guys, if you're just getting here, um, please take a second. You don't want to get things shared up too much, you know, mm -hmm. so you find out what's going on. Mm -hmm. You know that. My mind tells me, at first my mind told me, at that time, this this motherfucker killed my son. This motherfucker had something to do with it. I don't care um, if it's my grandpa. That's guilty. I don't care. Like I just want my son back. She says she doesn't care if it's her grandpa, and that's yeah. the telltale sign. Like she doesn't say I don't care if it's Vernal, right? right. She's leaving why would him she out. Of so, why would she be so quick to throw grandpa out? Grandpa there? doesn't look like he's fast enough to even catch a two-year-old. Right. Let's I mean, just be honest. You got the most. You got the most two vulnerable people right there to play, to, to pin it on. I mean, Grandpa, if he has Isaac and Bob, what, right? Grandpa's memory, Grandpa Bob's memory was at a ninety percent level of of um, normalcy. He was my not grandma dementia. was almost hundred, and it was, she had that ninety percent. She was yeah, right. So there was nothing wrong with Grandpa except for the fact that he was old. I'm starting to really believe that he was not on oxygen because Isaac would have remembered such. And for him to make that statement after that, you know, like, oh, I heard his health is doing pretty bad. I heard he's on oxygen. Well, that really tells you something, you know. So there's some one of the four people 100 percent knows regardless that yeah. leaning on who did it. I don't know. I, I, I have my suspicions. Mm, um, only one of three now.
Bob's gone. Yeah, one of three. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Our odds are even worse now, right? No, I'm being honest. Our right, odds right, are right. even worse. I know. Right, right. Let's hear. Right. Can we listen to some? Can we listen to some more of this? Is there yeah. some more good stuff in there? I'd, I'd like to let everybody keep keep on the case and then direct. Oh yeah, go for it. Well, let's go let's listen to more of this, and then and then we'll stop and we'll rebut to some. Okay. No. You didn't. No. What's done is done. What's done is done. That's your grandson. Yeah, and he's he's been like that. I mean, he he says things like that. I mean, we got home, and you know, within like two. Who said what's done is done? Grandpa. Grandpa did. So, so the PI is re reading back Grandpa's yep. statement to Trina, which is Grandma. That's a strange statement. That is what's done is done. Yeah, I mean that's right. That's is right. Grandpa, who's great Grandpa, is is it on the side of? Is it Vernell's side or 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 maternal? Jessica? So it's it's Jessica's mom's dad. Okay, because Jessica's a really tight bond with Bob. Right? No. No. <laughs> I thought no, it's Jessica not as tight was... as, as people. Okay. Was she abusive towards Bob? Do you know? Oh no, I don't think so. No. No, I, I just what, don't think that the mom care. and um Jessica had a really good um relationship based on some screenshots I've seen of the grandma's friend. Um yeah, so I don't think that they had the most closest bond, her and Jessica. Does Bob have a past for anything? Do you know that? Do you know that? Do you know like, of of, of anything like, just I don't think anything like like S N A or anything. Um, like, but I, I don't know. Anger or anything like that. Yeah, you know, I didn't really check much into to like his background. I probably could have done that, but yeah, no, I didn't. We, we, we could see. Well, we could still look it up, even if he's deceased. Yeah, we. Oh yeah, we can definitely, we can definitely run a background on him. I think we should. Actually. Oh yeah. I think we definitely. Okay. Yeah, I run can a do the same. On. Okay, let's yeah. run a background on. We'll call it. Uh, we'll call it Bob. <laughs> background on Bob. I mean, right? Bob stands for so many Bob. things. Bob. <laughs> Bob, right? That's all right. <laughs> for three days, he's like, "So, are we gonna have a funeral?" Can you explain to me? And the reason I know this is because Jessica called me herself after she got out of her polygraph. Actually, I called her to check on her because Trina had texted me and said to. And I asked her how everything went. And you know what she told me? And, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I want to know why Jessica threw you under the bus. And Jessica said that you were with Dior with uh, at your truck for 20 minutes while she was down in the creek fishing after you got back from the stage shop i asked yeah, her that is, complete. that is wrong that's wrong for one and i can tell you that that's wrong but for two and i asked her the same thing not mainly not coaching nothing i just said what the price was that all about and she said and i quote i was under a lot of pressure and i was don't know what the hell else to do. I didn't know what else to do. But I didn't. But, did but see that? Them? But that right there, that right there confuses me because I didn't pressure her. We were just having a conversation. I just asked if she was okay. I asked what happened because I wasn't even privy to any of that information at that point in time. And she told me the reason she never told me that before was because she's scared of you. So is she lying? Did she just lie to me and tell me that you were with your son for 20 minutes while she was down in the creek fishing and that you could have done something? What about that? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Vernal, Vernal, um, he shoots that one down as if it, it, just when you hear the next piece and him explaining that, like, it's just so like well, her and her I and Isaac went down there like it was just. It reminds me of my, you know, people I've known that just don't know how to hold the truth. <laughs> just <laughs> right, right. <laughs> so I mean, with that right there, tells you a lot. Sorry about what was that? Oh, I said just with that little piece, it tells you a lot. It's starting to tell you like why is Jessica trying to tell her that you know you, you don't just spit out other things when you had a story right you don't want to change right. it up right. so i think that she was actually kind of slipping something well either when guilt comes out or truth right yep exactly 
Well, that's been your story from the get-go, but now all of a sudden she's changed it. So you got to understand where we're coming from now. Yeah, I know. I understand. It's my word against or it's her word against mine. But here's the problem: since she comes back to everybody else in both families, to everybody else except for law officials, and says that was wrong. Well, what the fuck am I supposed to do, Jessica? Look what you did. But now you've got more time wasted with officials because you felt like you had it your quarter and had no other way out. You that doesn't do our son any good. Mm-hmm. When it comes to a man and a woman, I just take a second and say what a handsome. Handsome boy, Dior was. Yes. yes. Oh, he was. He's a sweet baby. So Beautiful much. baby. Very. So full of life. So full of life. Yeah. I, he might have been a trouble, you know, might have been a handful. Who knows? But to be honest with you, I really think no matter what happened, I believe that it was completely an accident. And, you know, when you're in an accident, you have two choices, right? I mean, I don't think many people think of those two choices. But when you're doing something and maybe drinking or, you know, maybe drugs maybe maybe there was just a little bit of something you weren't supposed to be doing and if an accident happened i think they were really worried about getting in trouble and when people do that it's done right right man how can any parent do anything to their kids right man if you don't want your kids people go to go drop them off at a hospital a a a fire station Go do the right thing. Don't kill them. I mean, there's no reason. You don't want them. Somebody does. Yeah. And if it's an accident and you were at fault, own it. You know what I mean? Own it. It's going to eat you alive. If it was an accident, why would you hide it? Yeah. Come on, guys. Mm -hmm. Tell the truth. Right. You know, if it was an accident, yeah, it's horrible as it is. Accidents happen and you can work through that. There's no reason to hide it and now at this point if it were an accident look how much more trouble you've gotten yourself into by not doing right. the right thing to begin with and i, I, mean, I think their hopes are to just continue to get away with it um yeah. they have gotten away with it for this long so i can tell you that uh like the message i got last night it was really short and simple um said this page should be sued and and <laughs> way to pin, you know, uh, on the victims. And, and it was just kind of, I, I just knew who it was. I feel like I knew who it was. And so, yeah. you know, my opinion to that person is I wouldn't have all I have if there wasn't so much evidence. <laughs> we need Bob to send, Bob, please send us a message. Right? <laughs> Something. You know what I mean? At this point, I'm willing to try anything. So. Right, right, right. I mean, look, oh. what, what, seven, seven years later, more, almost Six. eight. Almost Six. seven. Almost seven. Almost seven. Almost seven. Yeah. My math is off. Yeah. Right. Almost and you know what's years. really sad? This guy, this little kid, it, he's not just a local kid that's being featured. He's literally made it national headlines, just like Summer, just like the West yeah. Boys. It's just that so many children started disappearing right after he did. Um, and you got like the Daybell kids, you got summer you got michael vaughn you've got you know you just got all these kids that just randomly popped yeah. up and when that happens the previous children start to go and down in the spotlight and so well, I mean, that's one of my Har- goals harmony harmony was missing for two years right i mean like right yeah you yeah, got all these people missing. that don't even know kids are missing yeah right? i mean right what's to say that they weren't it wasn't two days before this happened that something happened to dior right yeah i agree i agree you know what? And you know, today I I actually feel bad. This is really hard for me to say, and it took a long time to get to these feelings. But I feel bad for the parents. I I do. And no matter what happened, I feel bad because they have to live with that. Now, if it right. was an accident and they had to cover it up because that's what they felt was needed, they know where he's at. You know, it's their child. Nobody yeah. else really has to know where he's at. But that's not the point. And, you know, so for that, I really, I really sympathize for their waking up every single day, um, knowing that their son's not going to ever come home. You know, there is a possibility, though, and I like to throw it out and I don't really lean on it, but it is possible he could be alive and adopted out. Um, Kidnapped? No. Um, (laughs) No, not kidnapped. Um, I I don't believe that. But, you know, what if Um, I've I. 
am in contact with a person who believes that and has shown some pretty significant, um, you know, things for me to keep an eye on and follow. And, but, you know, I lean on, he's not coming home and we just need to find justice for him. And I think that way, the only way that's going to find justice is if we can get Klein back in. And the reason is for that is that he has all the original uh, um, interviews, audios, and no PI is ever going to get that again. You know what I mean? They're not going to repeat right. themselves the same. They're not going to slip up. They're not going to, you know, they're going to, they're going to do it better. So. Yeah. I mean, it seems like every, every interview they have done and every person they have talked to, they've told a little bit of a different version of events. Right. They can't. Right. Yeah. They and, like you know, to really you know, add Isaac in there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Isaac's creepy. Opinion, if, you're, you know, if you're telling the truth, it don't change. So something is definitely wrong there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, That's definitely. Jessica, right. That's Jessica. Yes. it is. Yeah. It's on Easter. I believe. What is she, what is she telling us? Um, I don't know if a family member took that picture. Cause I definitely don't think it was a news crew that just showed up. Um, it could be just a regular picture, you know, I mean, and when you're in family, yeah, I, photos, I, I, you I, only, I only do that at the DMV when I take my driver's license picture. Right. That's it. I pay for that damn picture. I'm gonna take it the way I want it. They always right cut that exactly. one out. And the guy that you just passed, Jimmy is Grandpa Jiminus. Uh, I played what his, a I sweetheart. Played, uh, I, played I don't want to speak life. for him. Yes, that's him. That is that is Jessica's dad's stepdad, and um. At this moment, he would really like to help out with what we're doing. I don't know about the live YouTube, but he really wants to help out Klein. And he reached out to me yesterday through the page. So, um, so here, I'm really is, uh, excited. Th this is that gentleman again. Uh, what, what's his name? His name, um, Richard Jimenez. Richard, Ri Richard Jimenez. Okay. With four people up there, I don't yeah. think somebody could have drove in without you hearing a car and turning around and looking to see who it is. That's the only road in and out of that campground. I just don't seven yes. miles. There's always a possibility yes. of some type of a nature take, and and then there is that possibility of an abduction. You can't close the door on on any of those things at, at this point. Four people were at the campsite when he vanished: Dior's mother, father, great grandfather, and his friend Isaac. None of them say they heard a getaway Isaac, car. The fall guy dangerous animals they are the third theory there. is where things change on november 23rd 2015 four months after dior disappeared the family began working with a private investigator to help locate the child he asked them all questions on camera in separate rooms when the investigators handed over 10 hours of video to us we knew we were on to something when we played the video we learned their stories aren't exactly the same yeah. right so no in no out uh besides those <laughs> that one road yeah yeah and he literally says that there was four people involved and no one's talking mm. so i um you know i don't want to speak for him on where he leans because that's his choice and i wouldn't want to put right. those words in him even though because you can watch it and and find out what his own thoughts are but yeah he he's definitely wanting to help out and um you know whether he believes the parents are guilty or if he just really wants answers that it doesn't really matter well, but i, I, I if, you, if you get to get a hold of him and you guys maybe come up here together and we could just uh, uh, give you guys the mic and the floor and you guys just take the show and you guys do what you guys got to do i i think this needs yeah. to happen it's been too long yeah i mean we, yeah we yeah it's to been too long and it's a solvable case it's there. a very solvable case and so with that, I mean, the West boys, they're solvable case, too. Um, you know, you got Summer. That's a solvable case, but, boy, is that difficult. <laughs> right now, well, well, you got not... parents. Well, well, okay, okay, so you know a little bit about the Summer Wells case. What do you yeah. see in the difference of parents and their interviews uh, and how they're acting? Ooh, or even to the West case. Or even to the West case, to those parents, Jacqueline and Giselle. Whatever you want to compare it to. I mean, I mean, we could go on and on on other cases, but, like, Right. The two most current that we're all can remember and working on. Um, what what can you compare these parents to? Because we know the outcome so far of Jacqueline and Giselle, right? Uh, um, 
we don't of the wells yet so yeah well like in the parents first interview i feel that like as vernal was talking and jabbing around let's just say jessica didn't know and like she said he was with baby at the blah 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 you should watch that interview again look closely at jessica when vernal says that he went down to the creek she looks at him like no you weren't like it was I, and i didn't see all that every time i see it i see it i see it a little bit a little bit different so um, each time I learn something new, I look, I go back and I'm like, wow, did she, is that when she's finding out or is she trying to shut him up? So it's either or I, I see that the West boys, um, parents are definitely guilty. I mean, you got like the whole Chris Watts standing, you know, like this was, yeah. um, cause right. you got, um, oh man, the Wells family. That one's a, that one's crazy. That one's weird. Uh, I have been in contact with David, you know, um, he seems to be a pretty nice guy. I did accuse him of certain things and we worked throughout those things. Do I am a hundred percent trusting all that? I don't know yet. Uh, so you're in touch with is Dobbs, a, not Dodson, right? David Dobbs. What's that? David Dodson. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the guy that took out Dobbs. the boys to go golfing. Yeah. Yeah. The, um, uh, the uh, flute guy. I just want to make sure that we yeah, have the yeah. right one. There's that two oh. David. Yeah. I actually made a video for Dior's anniversary and I was able to contact David Dotson, who was so nice to donate amazing grace in a fluke um, thing. So he's actually incorporated in one of Dior's videos. So oh, I was, okay. I was kind of happy about that, but you know, where does he stand? I don't know. I, I you know, I, I look more at the, uh, the parents, you know, I'm sure there's more than the parents that know, but some are parents. There's, they're embarrassing themselves. So, so comparable to say. their their parents to Jessica and Vernal, uh, to Don and 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 Candace. Then, yeah. Um, so, like Summer's case and Dior's case to me are so mimicked. Right. Very mimicked. Yeah. It's a cover up of some sort. I feel that. Uh, was CPS you know, in their the life? Was, was CPS? Do you know it? What in uh, Jessica's and and Vernal's life? I want to say they were. I want to say they were. Um, mm. Because there's so many things in between all this stuff. I, I don't want to be 100%, but I do want to say that they were involved at some point. Um, sense, I don't see why they wouldn't have been. Seems like no. there's some abuse going on there in that relationship. Yeah, I think yeah, I, well, I, I, think abuse. I remember reading that somewhere. Yeah, some you know, I, I try to get some ideas on what um Dior was going through you know in the past I've looked at every photo that he's had I don't see any abuse in um in the child unless it was just more negligence parenting yeah. like letting him run around in a diaper outside or you know um he runs down the street or something I mean no I, I see that kind of thing I don't know if yeah. I see abuse um I see a pretty standard you know family that lives like that um I'd be more curious if the domestic, if the, what kind of domestic violence is involved. Yeah, I, I definitely believe verbal yeah. abuse. Um, right. I don't know about physical. I can't imagine um, Jessica would stay that long if it was physical. Uh, Vernal doesn't, in my opinion, to me, doesn't seem like an abusive person. He seems like a rather nice guy uh, that got he, caught up in he, this whole thing. He seems like, uh, Vernal seems like he could really talk up a good game. Yeah. <laughs> when you see him talk, that's how he talks on the phone. Right. It's it's like it's that. never ending. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've never met somebody who's talked so much. Is he but, on you drugs? Know, I don't think so. Not when I was talking to him. Um, I see that people think that he's been looking a little unhealthier, but who knows? Maybe maybe the toll is taken on him. You know, I guess guilt is the son of a bitch, isn't it? Right. Yeah. Yeah, he definitely knows something, in my opinion. Let's listen to a little bit more of this. Hear what else we can okay. hear. All right. Single mom is the worst goddamn parent I've ever seen in my life. I can tell you why. Well, what the fuck am I supposed to do, Jessica? Look what you did. Well, now you've got more time wasted with officials because you felt like you had a court ordered and had no other way out. You that doesn't do our son any good. Mm -hmm. When it comes to a man and a woman, single mom is the worst goddamn parent I've ever seen in my life. I can tell you why. Because let's let's play for example. You he's got a butter knife in his fucking hand, gonna go stick it in the light socket. What are you gonna do? 
I'm going to scare the living fuck out of them, shock them, and they're going to go, oh, I'm not doing that again. That's why I say single moms are the shittiest fucking parents. So concerned. I got by the time we finished eating, by the time I got cooked and everybody was fed. So that puts us at about 10 o'clock? Yeah, about that. Get everything situated. Everybody's sitting by the fire, throw their plates in the fire. Um, Jessica, my son, was over playing with Missy, who was hooked to the back of my truck, back on the back of my truck. And I remember I went over just to see what he was. Just to see Wait, there's a dog? Um, supposedly there was two dogs there, but it's not confirmed. That's the first time I've ever heard of that. I didn't know there was dogs. Yeah, I, I've only heard once that there was two. Grandpa had a little one, and then uh, they had their collie. She's mentioned a few times in um, their story, but I don't remember anybody actually in law enforcement I mean, seeing I mean, dog. is this another dog holds the key of the story? Like, is why isn't there a dog mm -hmm. barking if there's an intruder? Right. Yeah, that would that, be a that's one question. of the questions that people have is like, why didn't the dog alert? The dog is all about Dior and would have followed him anywhere. So, hmm. you know. Yeah. So hmm. odd to me how this can be slipped through the cracks. Right. 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 And and that's the first time I've heard of a dog too. So or even the two dogs. Yeah, so we're possibly. so yeah. we're all on the same page about that one. I didn't know about uh, dogs. Put a red flag out there, people. Grab your virtual red flags, throw them out. You know that if you run out of them, hashtag <laughs> hey Doug in the chat that you'll refill your bucket. Uh Amazon <laughs> delivers it in immediately. It goes instantaneously right. <laughs> there. Virtual red flags, you'll have a bunch of them. So hashtag hey Doug, you got that in the chat. But yeah, throw the red yeah. flags out because uh I mean the dogs I mean, dogs would definitely be um, a telltale sign that somebody was around them. Right, right. Exactly. Speaking of dogs, Unle unless they know, unless they know you. Yeah, right. Yeah. Exactly. Right. You, they would bark, and and a bear too. I mean, they uh, there there's no other. <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot of people that think that maybe an animal got him. There's a new psychic lady out there that claimed bear. You know, well, I, I tried to play with that story. Let's just say there was a bear, right? The yeah. facts don't really add up onto how a bear would have gotten them, dragged them off, no blood, no shoes. The oh, shoes oh, yeah. It, it only makes sense food. if they just um, covered him in honey and sent him out to look for food. Right. right. Go ahead. Right. right. Yeah. There's no way. Every, you know, everybody, yeah. you know, they, they want to jump on the whole animal thing, but yeah. an animal is not going to just pick a kid up and carry him off where they're not, no sign of them's ever going to be seen again. Yeah, they're not that gentle. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Um, you know, it's not. And then the again, food. you still they're have. You to their honey tree. <laughs> yeah, but you still have Verno at the truck with with Dior for 20 minutes. Like the whole original story yeah. has literally changed. It is no longer the story of I didn't know who was watching him. Uh, we were all down here. No, that story is no longer. That story yeah. has literally, with all the things that I have put in this little clip right here. It's no longer. It, it's the fact that Vernal never really made it down to the creek. He was with Dior the whole time. Isaac saying that Grandpa was actually sleeping while Isaac was fishing, and that yeah. Isaac, Grandpa was never watching. He, you know, so he Grandpa and Isaac. Isaac would have known if Grandpa was watching him, right? Since he was in the little right. pile of like, you want to stay with Grandma or or go with us. Well, yeah. that didn't happen. So I mean, and then there's another little thing that's popped up um, through Klein. He did a Q and A and stuff like that. Uh, there's a cooler missing, uh, like a blue igloo cooler. Um, and how that a, a, a cooler or a is it something like they could be weighted down and put in water type of thing? Cooler wise? Uh, I think it would float to be honest with like you. That. Um, but yeah, I mean, I can't see why you, you wouldn't be able to put it, you know, it's supposedly just one of those blue coolers. I don't think it locks. So I think at some point it would open, um, right. unless you, you know, unless so you really like, do something. It's just a camping igloo ice cooler for beer. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. And so because yeah, he know. went down to the road three times, um, the very first time supposedly he only went a half a mile, which is not long enough. The second one, he was actually 1.5 miles down the road. And during that spot where he called 911, there was actually a spot that was dug up big enough for a cooler. And they want to call that spot a holding spot because cadaver dogs have been up there scouring it like crazy they're up there every year um and there's multiple different sets of dogs the one thing that they they hit on the most is this tree we call it the diaper diaper bag tree Bernal supposedly had hung one of di one of dior's diapers from the nighttime up there they mentioned a morning diaper too but 
There's no other diapers mentioned in this. It's like, why would you even mention diapers? Wait, what are they using? Not gonna cloth? All are they using cloth diapers? No, there are regular diapers. Uh, and so when um, Grandma Trina came up to the campsite, she she had somehow noticed that, and she thought her 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 words were that she thought it was her grandpa's depends. And so I don't know if it was embarrassing or something, but she took it down and threw it into. Uh, there was a volunteer group, a church volunteer group, and it was thrown into one of their garbage cans. Never retrieved. Weren't they like, weren't they like Grandpa has a really small waist? <laughs> right. Don't you think Maybe, they'd have been like, but... oh, this is embarrassing. This is really like a G-string on Grandpa. <laughs> right? It wouldn't be, <laughs> right. that wouldn't, that wouldn't be depend. <laughs> right, right. I mean, right? I don't think she took it out and literally, like, yeah. I don't know. I mean, you could tell a diaper between a depends, I'm sure, exactly. because I used to be you a caregiver. So, so there, there's a difference, you know. Yeah, I don't, maybe she just difference. didn't look. But the fact that cadaver dogs wanted to climb that tree over and over and over again tells you that there was more than just a diaper that came off a child. It was well, a gotta, diaper that came off a dead child. Oh, mm. okay. I get that. Look, I don't know why they would keep it, but I just got a text from my friend not today. She said, I knew Jessica personally. She's guilty as. F. I'm very close to this case, but I've been sick. I can help later and waiting on a call. Um, so we'll have not today come up another time uh, when she's feeling better. But I guess she's apparently she knew Jessica personally. Well, that's right. good. I mean, at least we'll get some yeah. more information there. Plus, she'll get more info on the case for us. So uh, we're yeah. going to keep covering this thing after today, make sure that we stay on this as well. Um, yeah. Let's listen to the another thing. Uh, we're going to listen to the rest thing of really that. Quick. Stuff. Is that the Cold Case Foundation is on board? I had gotten the grandmother Trina to call the Cold Case Foundation. Um, they have Montana? it put in the door. So if you have tips, I would send it to them. Cold Case or Foundation, the our page. friend Chris McDonough. All right, you guys. They oh, I are, love Chris McDonough. <laughs> they are awesome, yeah. you guys. Make sure that you guys uh, show Chris some love and his family. Reach out to him. If you know them, I'll, I'll text them after this and say hello. Also, but the Cold Case Foundation is a very big um foundation that that has the greater good in, involved in it and a bunch of great people and i'm so happy yeah, they, that you mentioned them because i'm right. confident you're on the right path to get to where you need yeah, to be they, yeah they yeah i have really Dean, great things Dean jackson is on the case um it's not chris mcdonough but they do work with each other right i'm right. hoping that maybe after yeah. summer's case that he could take a peek at dior's because they're similar um but he's got a lot going on right now but I'm yeah, sure, so I'm, if, sure, I'm sure he will. I'm sure he'll take a look. Chris is a good guy. Oh, I hope take, so. He'll take, I'll, I'll make sure he at least. I uh, hope so. Yeah. And any tips that come through the site, I, they automatically go through the right right resources. And I don't mean I don't just send them to, to Sheriff Penner. I send them to Detective Noah in Bonneville County. I send them to Klein. I send them wherever they need to go. And I also now send them to um, Cold Case Foundation because. I don't, the site is not meant to hold all the tips for itself. It, it, it's just yeah. another option to be able to reach. And I've had people contact me through anonymous. So there's anonymous ways. So I won't even know who you are. You could just say what you want to say. And I just pass it on to where it needs to go. It'll never stay just to the page. So um, I hope people can trust the page in the anonymous area. I cannot find you. I doesn't say your name, nothing. Um, I can't even reply to it. So you know, feel free to do that anywhere. There's so many multiple sources. Uh, message Klein himself. Uh, just, you know, more the merrier. We do need people to step forward. I know there's people who have heard the parents talk about something. They might have slipped something. You know, before, those are the before, things that we're looking for. Before we go further into this, is there a way that, uh, what's the best way that people can donate for the cause and to help? Um I would like to climb back on the case, right? Klein's our answer. Yeah, we totally want Klein back on the case because he's he's just got all that fresh stuff and it's all from the beginning. Like I said, no one's going to get that information again. So we really need to get him back on. He's willing. He's already spent over $150,000 of his own money after we uh, raised $20,000 for him to come on. And like the only reason why he is off is because mm -hmm. he was kind of forced out with lawsuits. And so um, one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. He actually lost it. He did not get that back. So um, it took him a little while to 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 step in the case. It kept him up at night. It's a case that he really wants to solve. Um, not a lot of people agree with him, and that's okay. You know, the thing is, is that he is a PI. He's licensed. He's got all the knowledge that he already started with. Um, 
He is the reason why we have most of the information we have out in public. Uh, and we really want him to come back. So what we're trying to raise is the initial 20, I don't want to say 25,000, but I think it's 20,000. I'm not sure. 20, 25,000. And that will get him back on the case. That's for travel, food. Um, that is for gas and car rental. You name it. It's for right. all that. Yeah. And that's important because he coming, he's coming from Texas. So uh, all the rest of the money after that, he's going to cover it. He, he's, he wants to cover it. He, he wants to solve the worst case. It's a passion. So with that passion and with the, you know, the lack of PIs available to come in on this case um, and ones that already have info, I think this is a really good cause for this sure. Is who we, this, is the, this is who we want back, people. Frank Yes, this Milt. is who we want back. He quit the case by sending the family this letter. And I said, I am withdrawing from the investigation. My stipulation was both of you would be absolute truthful. In my professional opinion, both of you lied and misrepresented the true facts that could possibly solve the mystery of your missing son. Sooner or later, the truth will come out. We, this guy spent 19 years with the U.S. Marshal Service. He's retired now, but Vilt told us he knew the family and got involved because he wanted to help. When a mother has lost her child, she looks into a camera and says, I want my child. Please help me find my child. I love my child. But she didn't want to do that. That's who we want to get back on the case. No, or that's no, 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 that's 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 the first. I'm sorry, that's the first person. That yeah, that's the first the case. one. I'm sorry. Yeah, Frank Bill. Yeah, I'm sorry, Frank Bill was. Uh, Klein is the second investigator who actually yeah. is involved in a lawsuit. Am I correct? Yeah. 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 Klein, yeah, Klein, Klein is the second one. It's like Klein Consulting Investigations or something like that. <laughs> yeah. So many words. Okay. Yeah. So Klein, Klein is the second investigator that uh, we wanted to get back on the case. Um, mm -hmm. why, why not built was my question. I've been in contact with Phil. Um, he's, uh, considered to re put up the reward that the parents turned down. Um, because again, my goal was to get something going on in this case. And, and so I reached out to him asking if he was still willing and he, he's been thinking about it, you know? Um, but you know, I, I don't really, I don't blame him for not putting it up. I mean, can we, can we can we try to get Frank back before Klein? Don't you think that would be more beneficial? No, not really. And the, my opinion no. for that is that there are two different separate ways that the two think. Um, and the third one that also thinks different. They all think different Two, yeah. the first two believe the parents know something. Um, but so we, want, you, we want Klein, not built. Yeah, Vilt's going to look yeah. for an adopted child. And Klein's going to look for, well, you know, a deceased child. However, he can't find a deceased child if he's not deceased. So whatever he comes up with, I just hope he comes up with the truth. And he has a lot more manpower behind him. So um, I that would definitely, would yeah, I would definitely bring yeah, Klein I mean, back. If, okay. if Klein's <laughs> the one that's got the most resources to devote right. to this and, you know, is going to have the most open mind about the, all the possibilities, and that's definitely who right. you need to go with. So if you guys go over to justiceforbabydr.com, there's a way that you can donate to this, right? Yeah, and Klein's donation link is actually in there, and I will add right. the link um, in the chat as well. Great. So let me, uh, and yeah. when I see you, I'll mod you so you can do that. Or if you put it in private chat, then, then Lisa can, uh, but otherwise I can. I'd have to mod you, though. You put a link. Okay. Um, so if you just make a comment real quick in chat if you can. If you can't, okay. Uh, do I have to have the link? Because I'll have to like back out and like look for it. Uh, don't worry about it. We we can put the links up after in, 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 on the in, in the description yeah, well, of my video, but also um, uh, scroll down wanna, on the page that point. you're on. Scroll down on okay. the page that you're on. Um, yeah, keep going, point. keep going, keep going. Uh, right there. See, donate today. To Klein, right there. All right, I'll do this. Yeah, just click yeah. that, and then if you yeah. throw the link over here, I can put it out. Right. I'm so excited that you guys got me on here because you know, it, I've 
I had somebody reach out to me the other day through the email that I have for him and they were like, we need to get you on more platforms. And I'm like, I've been kind of trying um, or at least yeah. share his story or get someone to cover his story. So, you know, I, well, when I you reached out to me last week, uh, immediately uh, took that into consideration. I don't do fundraisers for people, but when I looked more into the case and saw that it wasn't a fundraiser that you're dealing with through yourself, it's, it's right. more so to fund to get this back together. Uh, right. I was more in, yeah. I was more intrigued uh, and inclined to do that because again, we don't want to touch money here. We'd rather no. uh, post it um, a link that goes directly to it, whether it's a uh, Civis Bank right. or like the Reward from Summer Wells or or whatever. We want it to go yeah. directly to. So uh, if you guys yeah, and can, I trying to pin this link. All right, and. Uh, I'll I'll definitely I can put something together on my channel too and share that link over there as well. All right, so All right, I got yeah. I got the link pinned to the GoFundMe above you guys, the very top. You guys can donate over there. Let them know it came from uh <laughs> yes you know or coming on this channel so they know that that we're out we're here helping and and that it inclines Klein to come back. Right. Get, you see what I did there? Right. <laughs> inclined Klein. I did that. Klein. I did that on myself. <laughs> You know, and if, gosh, if Summer's case can do something like that and there was somebody that we can bring in for her as well, you know, I know Chris McDonough's in there doing his best and boy, has he uncovered a lot. Um, but it's just these missing children that are in the suspicious care are in the care of suspicious parents that have children missing. I really focus on that more than I mean, everybody has their, you know, things they focus on. Um, trafficking or something but this is something that I value is like you know you, there's a missing child's um, link in there somewhere if you go into where it's a drop down list you'll see missing other missing children and all those children are in the same circumstances just not missing through campsites or whatever it's just their parents are suspicious and whether that means they're guilty or not who uh, knows we had, but, well, what, we had Chloe wasn't it Chloe that was taken from a camp Cleo Cleo? Cleo, that's right. Yeah. Cleo. Oh my God, Cleo. I was so happy she was found. I, I never know, thought that was, was going to happen. That was. I put a, really I awesome. put a poll up. A story. The poll says, uh -oh. "Are both awesome. parents guilty?" The option is Vernell knows what happened, not Jess. Isaac and Bob know. Those are the options. You're going to get like a sure. half and half, I think. More so, I think you're going to get leaned on the parents being guilty. But see, I also have that, you know, in the in the questionnaire for a survey and I get them every single day on who they think is guilty. And I have no idea who these people are. They're anonymous. And boy, do they add up. Anonymous, say 90 so, yeah, 90 percent yeah, yeah. guilty. <laughs> well, let, we're going to let that run till the end of the, to the end. So let's listen to the rest. So we got the link sent out. You guys pinned to the top. for uh, right. That goes to um, to get back. Now, what if he doesn't take the case with all the donations with GoFundMe? Does the GoFundMe just get returned? He will take the case. Um, he just made oh, a, oh, a new post yesterday. Okay. Yeah, he, the, okay. it's guaranteed that he'll take the case. All right. Well, um, that, that makes yeah. me feel a lot better, too. And if yeah. Can't, yeah. And, and people are going to ask if the donation for that link is just for Dior. Yes, it is. But if you feel uncomfortable not knowing, please put his name next to in the comment area when you donate. Got it. Thank you, Pink Dahlia. Let's listen to more of this. Thank you again for being okay. here, Callie. I, I really appreciate it. And, and Gosh, thank you for, for having out me. Because, yeah, it's important. <laughs> it's important. Well, you know what I mean? That's what we got to do. Pay it forward and get these cases right. out there, right? Especially with the right, right information. Right. And that's what you value yourself on is bringing the facts. Right. So I, I appreciate that. Yeah. Right. I value this child a lot. Appreciate what that. Doing? Just, he was in eyesight, but I like playing with him. I like, you know, little games, things like that. And he has a real big, he's a big fetish with cramming his arm in the black exhaust pipe in my trucks always and comes out with just a arm full of exhaust. And I walked over just as I trying to catch him to not do it and he did it and he come out and his arm's solid black and I went, son, he had the look on his face too. <laughs> like, like his arm was just gone. And I said, it's not a big deal. Started wiping the soot off his arm and he ended up walking around the truck, just playing with the dog and I had set some food out for him. Uh, just on the ground, and he was screwing with her, like, trying to keep her away from the food. 
And I remember he walked over to the driver's side front tire of my truck, and that Dodge. He would always walk over and play with lug nuts. Always. Mm -hmm. This is what he does. Mm -hmm. um, and he gets to one, and I was missing one. And he looks at me, he goes, Daddy. And I said, what, son? He goes, where go? Mm -hmm. And I looked over, and I thought, I'll be damned. I am missing a lug nut. Mm -hmm. And he says, where go, Daddy? He says, I don't know. Is it around here somewhere? And he's looking around. He looks over to Missy, and he goes, blue, blue where go? Thinking she took it. And it's, it was just you know, it was funny to me. Mm -hmm. Hold on, everything. Uh, so had, Steve Card, can I have your six? What are yours? I have stones I had. Pause. Yeah, let's pause. Okay. Okay. Can't do that. Yeah, I know social media can be a good thing, but it can also. That's be that's the, we just don't want anything twisted. Yeah, we don't want to twist it. So clear up any rumors that you've seen or heard. Or heard. We've one one thing that we, we, we're, we're, me. we want to get to that. Dior is gone. She sees her little son playing in the dirt with some toys. Last time I saw him was the back of his head. Walking towards my grandpa. Not a trace of my son found. Vanished. He doesn't go in without his blanket, his cup, or his marking. All three of them were left at the campground. Where did he go? Nobody had the baby. You cannot see. Including that tree that's down. Including that tree that's down. Although the private investigator on the case, Philip Klein, believes he has at least... Not an animal that's a child. Number two, there was no forced abduction. So that leaves us with one last possible theory. That the child could have died up on the mountain either accidentally or possibly with intent. We do not believe the organs is alive. This is a small, small town. We're dealing with a missing child who may have been killed, something nefarious may have happened. Things like this don't happen here. Shortly after Klein releases his findings, the sheriff at the time, Lynn Bowerman, makes a stunning move, naming Dior Coon's parents suspects. The parents of missing toddler Dior Coons Jr. are now suspects in his... What did you think when you heard that for the first time? Uh, which part? Uh, about the, the parents becoming suspects. Oh, I already knew. I just felt like when they, every time they... Well, when they confirmed it, when they confirmed it, yeah. did it help your theories? I, I have felt like I already knew. Like, it, it, yeah, it, it, it was like, finally, there's somebody that is looking into this. Finally, but there's somebody but which, that... But which one? If you know, which parent? Like, could be one, not the other, right? I'm going to say that he's thinking both of them. Um... And that he does not think that Bob and Isaac had anything to do with it. Right. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Both parents. When they said that he was guilty, they were guilty. And it was already kind of leading up to that, like with, you know, with built by then. And, um, but yeah, when Klein and started to get in contact with the current sheriff or the sheriff at the time. Oh yeah. It was, it was definitely starting to go somewhere. Um, it kind of all died down when what's the new sheriff. Took over. What's, what's confusing me about, both the parents being involved, it seems like they wouldn't split up if both were involved because they, one has to keep track of the other. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right? I think Jessica has been silenced by Bernal. I think they came to a mutual agreement, to be honest with you, if this is the case that they, uh, and Bernal left town right after, like kind of shortly after all this. He kind of went into Vegas. Now, people could do that just because. They want to or guilty reasons or maybe had opportunities down there i don't really know the reason why he left but mother got married within six to eight months to a random person probably somebody wow. she was with prior um and that's yeah. probably i think they got in an argument at the campsite if it happened at camp or at home i think there was an argument in place and uh, I think if, if it really was the truck that hit him, I think he just got in the truck and didn't even think twice. His parents just, yeah. I mean, I mean, I just don't get why she would say this. This is, this is listening again to this 
listen to uh, Jessica. You, guys. you don't want to get things shared up too much, you know, mm-hmm. so you find out what's going on. Mm-hmm. You know that. My mind tells me, at first my mind told me, at that time, this this motherfucker killed my son. This motherfucker had something to do with it. I don't care um, if it's my grandpa that's guilty. I don't care. Like, I just want my son back. Why doesn't she say, I don't care if it was Isaac, Bob's friend, or I don't care if it was... You see, they're each yeah. pointing a finger at different people. One's pointing at yeah. Bob, one's pointing at Isaac. She could yeah. have said, I don't Bernal care who it point, is, Isaac. I just, you know... Right. I think that they were, I think it was Bob first because they wanted to make sure Bob, because let's just say Bob was sleeping and, and all of a sudden, you know, I mean, let's just, his, his memory was great. Right. But let's just say, you know, I went and took a nap and I had family out there and the baby got lost. And all of a sudden I was told I was asked to watch him. I would feel bad because I didn't hear them. You know what I mean? And like, So I, I would automatically assume that I was the guilty party for, you know, um, I mean, I would assume that they would have made it more clear to me. <laughs> that well, if better. Bob's a veteran, too, say Bob's a veteran and he went to war at some point, we don't know. Maybe he's got right. some, uh, you know, some ringing in his ear still, right? Yeah. Uh, where, where you yeah I, where... I mean, he's old. There's no excuse yeah. for being old. Senile isn't mm-hmm. the right he, word. But you old. might not be able to hear something, right? Like, right. It's very right. easy for them to say, yeah, I'm. I told you to do th- I told you this and you're like I didn't hear you Does that mean right. you actually told me right no and so that that's exactly probably I think what happened and and um you know I think Bob found out later maybe because why would he suggest what's done is done or when is there going to be a funeral there's no point for those two um, are these pieces? parents doing anything for Dior? Like, are they doing anything themselves like that you're doing? Are they trying to get any kind of memorials or any kind of laws put, put in place or any kind of cameras put no. up at the, the campsites? Nothing? No. no, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Um, the dad, he says that he goes around and passes flyers around. Uh, so it's really weird after all this. He kind of went, he hates camping, right? So he went and got a a big old beastie van to live in and travel the country. And, and, and that's just really confusing to me who doesn't like to go camping. Um, he has so many stickers on that van. None of them were Dior. Now I try to put co 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 advocate on that and be like, okay, so or devil's advocate. I've tried to say like, maybe he doesn't want to call attention to himself while he passes around things privately. Uh, Cause he is kind of a known person and maybe people will harass him. I kind of thought that, but I don't see him doing anything. And the mom, I don't see them doing anything. It's almost like they kind of gave up, thought there was no, nothing more to do if they're, if that's the case. But no, there's no one, no one's created a, a website. No one's created YouTubes besides YouTubers um, or myself. Uh, I do have a, a partner. I have a few partners that I, um, kind of work with in the case uh, as far as like your followers through the pages we've known each other right. all throughout the whole time so um we're always getting those special screenshots and so, <laughs> little so, things that nobody else has. so lex luther's to ask me anyone know how bob met isaac uh basically isaac was doing some yard work for him am i correct and then bob became friends with him yeah yeah they were kind of neighbors i guess did Isaac they live with like his the mom? Did Isaac, it, and being that Isaac's a little slow, and I'm not not gonna put mental handicap oh, yeah, yeah. on people right. that way, but like that's what has been said. Uh, does he need to live with like a parent? Does he live with a mom or dad or uh, no. grandparents? He lived on his own. No, he lived on his own. And after after Dior went missing, I think a year or two after, he had gotten actually gotten married. Um, I don't know really? the status of that right now, but yeah, he. He was living on his own, um, and and you can see those in some interviews. That's his home, uh, and then it's a really small home. You know, it's kind of probably like just like a half a house. <laughs> but right. yeah, he ended up getting married. So, uh, I mean, he he okay. he rides a bike. He can't drive. So, I mean, he does have some limitations. Got it. Got it. But he's normal. He's normal. 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 Normal because yeah, I've seen him. Yeah. I've seen him in screenshots at the bar having a drink with with women hitting on him. However, those women were specifically trying to do, you know, get get more out of him. But 
yeah, he's sitting there <laughs> drinking at a bar, having a great time. He looked Isaac, uh, Isaac got some fat pockets from doing some uh, landscape. <laughs> he got some lap dances, <laughs> I'm sure. He, he got some <laughs> landscape dances. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Good God Almighty! I mean, I can't imagine. Oh, I, who wouldn't try, right? Like, come on. Sometimes right. that's how you. There's get always it a me. chance for somebody, right? Right. 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 Oh gosh. Okay. Yeah. So, so Isaac, I'm happy for Isaac. Isaac, uh, if you have anything to say or need to be a voice, come up anytime you want. Please reach out. Uh, always in the descriptions is my email. Uh, even you, Vernal, uh, you want to come up and say something? Uh, you have a lot to. You have a lot to cover, pal. Um, the saying right. not looking good for you, Vernal. Um, yeah, and, uh, but, and you know, I'm so glad that you got a hold of me, buddy, because you're gonna be exposed at some point, in my opinion, whether you are involved or not. Your son is gonna be found, and we're all gonna know the truth. And I can't wait for that day. Crime of Justice, you want to add anything to Vernal's little roast right now? Yeah, I just, you know, it's been way too long and he needs to start if he knows something more than what he's already said he needs to get his story together and start talking we need the truth we don't rest how do you wake up like that every day you know how how could you know something happened to your baby and just go on with your life like it's nothing fertile you got a deal deserve better than that give him the same deal Right. right like hey tell us where baby Dior is and then and maybe you're the one that gets a deal right exactly. why don't I you mean, take why don't you ask for a deal first uh Vernal uh you you flip on Jessica Jessica flip on Vernal both guys flip on each other exactly uh, first Somebody one to tell to gets a better talking. deal <laughs> you almost think we should create a reward for one of them to speak <laughs> right, the, the, we call it the snitch fund Right. Right. Yeah. I'd be yeah. more than happy to like give you a new fresh start with a few thousand dollars in your pocket just to tip, you know, whatever it is. On top of getting freedom, you know what I mean? Just go. Here's your right. few thousand dollars. And we understand you know, I'm, we all understand that once a lie starts. It's so hard to like, you know, uh you, you're making yourself look like a good guy and then all of a sudden the lies have to come out, you know, and the truth has to come out and it's gonna change the way people look at you. I understand that because that's what liars do not like. They don't want to be viewed as something they're not. And if this was an accident, obviously that's not something he wants to be viewed as, right? So, right. you know, it's really just a matter of that quick choice that they made, if that's the case. And I like to say if that's the case because I don't want to, I want to be biased. Um, but yeah, I mean. Hey, Vernal, if waterboarding <laughs> was still legal, that's what I would do to you. I would waterboard right. your goofy looking ass. Tell the truth. <laughs> Exactly. Stop going up there saying it's that MF that did it or that person trying to mm-hmm. trying to point the finger, pal. Just why don't you just tell the truth? It's it's pretty obvious. Yeah, and save your naked photos for yourself. I'm for sorry, your who? Future wife. I'm sorry, the what? <laughs> you? Did he, did, you was, just heard that? Yes. Te- testies, testies. <laughs> like one, I said, I was testies. in conversation with. This. I was in conversation <laughs> with this guy. He should. He should keep his private areas to himself and not share them. Yes, like, you know, he's private. Cheap. Yeah. That's nuts. <laughs> literally. Yeah, we, we do not want to see that. No, thanks. No. We, uh, we by don't. the way, I guess the sweatered snake is back in, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the covered wagon, the hooded dragon, whatever you want to call it. I'm just kidding. I've never <laughs> seen the pictures. I don't know. <laughs> Vernal, yeah, well, you when you see one in the middle of an intersection, it's not a very safe area to do that. No, at. no, no, no. That, that's all bad right there. All bad. Very bad. You know, it didn't take him more than 10 hours to do that. So I'm sorry, what? <laughs> uh, it takes more than 10 hours to get laid. But like, damn it, he said, oh, yeah. he said the yeah. pics right away. Oh, no, I mean, seriously. Like I said, three hours after I, I like accused a family oh member, God. he wrote back and I took the bait and uh the next day he asked if I wanted to hey, see Vernal. a picture. He said sure. Vernal, guess what, pal? <laughs> the tides of plot twist. I'm gonna oh now put God. your privates all over the web. <laughs> right. I can Don't tell you, Vernal, not one bit of this shit was shared. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I, I couldn't share that stuff. It was like oh that's too God. private, you know. 
Yeah, I ain't private. that mean. <laughs> right? <laughs> Real private. Very private. Private Vernal checking in for duty. <laughs> Bri- <laughs> oh, he got me dying. I was missing the part. Was a little a ten, huh? Oh, he's full staffed right now. <laughs> Oh man! Stand down, soldier! Stand <laughs> down, <laughs> soldier! <laughs> Stand down, soldier! Oh, oh Lord. lordy! <laughs> Sometimes you got to throw that in, right? Because otherwise, it'd be like this. Thank you, Jesus. This is too much. Right? Oh, I have the one off- of those downstairs. Actually, it calls a lot. A cock, a cock, a have, cock, a I cock. Have, I have a crow. Is that what he sent you? <laughs> I rest No. A cock, a cock, uh, a cock. A cock, a cock. <laughs> Gosh. Just listen to the rest oh, of this. Man. Vernal, Vernal, we're going to, we're going to, la- hey, we're going to, we're going to embarrass you to tell the truth. That's what I'm going to do, pal. Right. Disappearance. Well, my county sheriff says they are at the top of his list. A cock, a cock. That was clever. <laughs> Basically, I was saying they were the top <laughs> persons of interest, but no, actually, yeah, I believe they're suspects. It's a move not everyone working on the case agrees on. I think suspect was a little strong. Consider them unclear people of interest. <laughs> I felt it was necessary to come forward and say that the parents are being less than truthful. Things that should be important to them, important in their memory, have changed from who made the decision to do what, or you know who cooked that morning, or who took a fishing pole down to the creek. Just minor changes like that, constantly changing. The focus of the investigation is steering toward the parents. I believe so. What do you think happened? I have no clue. Absolutely no clue. But by summer 2016, nearly one year after Dior Coons disappeared, Sheriff Bowerman seems to have an idea. And his suspicions are starting to sound a lot like Philip Klein's. I'm moving more and more towards it being a homicide strictly because we've ruled out the abduction, we've ruled out wild animals, the fact that we have no credible witness at this time that can clearly state he was at the scene. Not only am I not believing he was ever there, but I'm believing that we have a homicide. I did not kill my son. 100%. I did not kill my son. Who says that? Jessica says that, right? Yeah. <laughs> Who says that? <laughs> right? 100%. 100%. Not 110%. <laughs> well, at least she knows that you really can't get over 100%, right? Anyone who says, right. I give right, 110%, right, right, right. it just doesn't right, exist. Right. <laughs> it's right. impossible. Oh, that would sound so much different. <laughs> yeah, I'd have been like, are you kidding me? There's no way what, in the this, world. This case has taken, I mean, and I'm okay with it. And my family supports me all the time that I put on this case. And my, my family is so supportive. But it takes a lot of my family time. My daughter's time, who is the same age as Dior. She has watched Dior unfold in my life like this through since she was two. And has she I swear, this? Has she gotten into this? She's very into this. And she knows the whole story. She knows. And, um, and I don't hide it from her because she's a really smart child at home. Awareness. Awareness, right? Yeah. It is. It is. And, you know, it, it shows it, it kind of gives her a little bit uh, more reality in life for when she gets older, you know, um, it's yeah. go missing. And the <laughs> fact that I advocate for him. I put as much energy into this case as I would if she was my own child. However, I would be more in the news and all that, but because I'm not related to Dior and I don't really have, you know, much to say to the news um, other than what's this, I, I would have done more for my child, but this is how much he means to me and um, his justice. I picked to help him and I'm never going to give up. Um, So I will see them in court someday, whoever it is. Um, Yeah. I, here's, I Callie, here's, Callie, here's Callie's YouTube page. If you guys don't know, she covers actually a lot of cases, but 
it's really dedicated to justice uh for dior so let me put post it right now for it. you guys please go over there like share and subscribe let's get her up let's get her a voice because she needs one she should be great at doing live streams um i think she'd be a great voice for the community and i think what she's doing is is very impactful you're 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 selfless you're doing this out of you don't even yeah. know this baby right yeah you don't you just you know I, you, i've never you, met him but you I've feel like he's, he's but he feels like he's your son you know what i mean he, that's like yeah yeah he feels like and a missing son you know and and the, the day that basically this is how i say it the day your parents gave you up is the day you became ours i agree right thank you for subbing yeah go over there and sub to her guys take a second yeah. jump out jump back i'll wait a second and then we'll, we'll continue this uh there's only a few more minutes uh of this um of this recording and then uh we'll, we'll get to the the wrap up and talk about uh what we're going to do next because i think there's, there's right. a next step there's a next step to this case for sure yeah we we definitely got to figure out a game plan yeah so know your subs you had 80 what you had 83 or 86 when we started uh give it a few yeah. days uh let's just uh let's just see where you are over then and then hopefully uh you'll be able to go live as well and 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 uh do that um and, and be able to um you know filter whatever whatever you need mon monetary wise through you as well. Like you'll have a voice yeah. and you'll have a channel that can do that. And I, I love uh, being a part of building somebody up like that. And I, I hope that I people appreciate can it. I appreciate yeah. it. And if you know any other platforms that I can get on, I'm not a really a fan of being live, but I'm, you know, I've talked to so many people I've never even met, like, you know, just FaceTiming. So it yeah. became some kind of a natural thing for me. So, you know, what I, what I can help you, what I can help you with is how to link, uh, your Facebook to your YouTube and when you go live it goes live on both at the same time and you're oh, okay. one app and it, it'll help you go to all your platforms and, and I can definitely help you with that. Uh, okay. That and, and you and I will definitely you have my information we can talk behind the scenes uh, yeah. and definitely uh, help you out and then I'll also give you crime and justice info because uh, yeah. she's just a research genius along with not today not today's the same way um, she's going to be helping us as well she knew Jessica so w w we're going to we're, we're here for you um all right for sure for sure yeah, all right will. thank you guys for going out and doing that let's uh play the rest of this recording i believe dior's father could have hurt him that's jessica saying i think dior's father could have hurt him where did they right. come up with his name do you know where they came up with his name vernal dior coon so dior is his middle name middle name um, got it okay and his oh. father's name is dennis dior coons and so Dior Coons is just Dior Coons Jr. Um, okay, so Lisa, uh, Crime and Justice, that's the two people we need to look up background checks on also. Okay. Um, those two names. Oh, what were those names again? Can you say them one more time? Uh, which ones? Uh, the two names you just said. Vernal. Vernal and oh, then oh, oh. Dennis Dior Coons, that's the grandpa. And then there's Vernal Dior Coons, that's the dad. And then there's just okay. Dior I want to say his name, Jay Coons. I forget his little name. That's fine. We'll just timestamp it at 147. Uh, that way we can go back. So listen to the whole minute at 147 and we can go back and get the names. Uh, not a problem. We're, we're, we're on it. We're on it. And we'll definitely stay uh, in the loop on this. Let's, let's just, it's just too odd. Like she's, you said that, that she's got a, like a deal and, and an arrangement with him not to talk, but she's saying right here that he thinks that he did it. Yeah, for, well, in the beginning, you heard that she said that he was with his with the baby and never was at the creek, and so now she's contradicting herself in the statement. Yeah, got it. So this is where the turning point could be. Yeah. One second, he was there. In a matter of fifteen minutes, he's gone. Despite the fact that you're not together, do you still believe in Bernal's innocence? Yeah, I I believe in both of our innocence because he was with me that whole time. He, the longest he was out of my sight was when he went up the embankment to go get our son. So, and that was. And, 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 and yeah, we're, we're going to talk about summer's law as well. Um, that's important. Uh, actually, I, believe, I heard about that. Yeah. It's, it's a great thing that we're going to do. And, and I could, and crime and justice and a bunch of us have been working on it. Uh, we'd like yes. to put that on your website too, if we could do that. Absolutely, uh, I would love to support you guys in any way I can. That's awesome. Thank you very that's much. So great. Thank you. That means a lot. And again, 
yeah. uh, if something was involved with CPS here where they didn't do their jobs right, where they seen these seen something happening and or, or the behaviors or or whatnot, then we got to make sure that you know we correct that as well. So right. it's right. about everybody, every state. Again, thank you for that, by the way, Callie. Uh, it means a yeah. lot. All right, let's listen to this. Maybe five minutes. Didn't really want to go there. Middle of fucking nowhere. Basically, I was looking for any excuse to not be up there. I don't fish. I didn't want to fish. So I was looking for any excuse, like, this truck won't make it anymore. I need to get it home kind of shit. Uh, I asked Bob and Isaac where they had been. They asked, told me that they had, because they mentioned... Wait, he don't fucking fish? Excuse my language. How do you not fish no, as a dude? I was going to say, that's Vernal talking, right? Yeah, that's Vernal talking. I don't fish. That's why Isaac yeah, came he, along. This is the, yeah, this the fall guy. This is, he's trying to make it seem like he's just a truck driver. He don't like to do anything. He's miserable. Right. He just wants to sit by a campfire and roast marshmallows. Right? Right. Right. He's not, but yet, yet he's placing this to where, like, this is the reason why he didn't Isaac want to be there at all. He was really pissed off about this camping trip. If it was a real camping trip and it wasn't a setup, he was really unhappy about going on this camping trip. He did not want to go. Hmm. It seems like there's something odd there. Yeah. yeah. Big time. I'm going camping and they wanted me back there by a certain time. And I went, I'll fucking try. Look, I'm a camper and I'm going to fuck left on what time I get back there. I didn't do anything. Hold on. Hold on. I don't know anything. Oh, wait, you'll hear but I have to pay the price. To was that you saying hold on or was that on the video? No, 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 it was, but go ahead. It'll, it'll, it'll tell you. Okay. If I did. Wait, did Vernal just say that Bob and Isaac wanted to go camping? Um, I thought they were already camping. Did anybody else catch that? Hmm. Next on 11, did anyone catch that? <laughs> right. <laughs> Okay, so that was you talking. Yeah, yeah, that's one of my little podcast things that I threw together in there. You caught the fact that they wanted to go camping, but they were already supposed to be camping. Yeah, I mean, well, so like this is when they were going to go to the store, and Bob says, hurry up so we can go camping. Hmm. This is the Friday that they're going to the store. Were they not already camping? And why does Bob want him to come back in a hurry to go camping? What are they going to do while they're camping? Is there something special that they're going about to do? Walk around and hike? No. Why was that statement made? The sheriff describes it. And they could not pass the section on, do you know where Dior Coons is at this time? And do you know what happened to him? They could not pass those two parts of the polygraph. We've given them too many opportunities to tell us what happened if it was an accident, and there's been no interest in going that direction. That t so that tells me that there's only one other uh, possibility. It's, it has to be a homicide. Powerful. Every time you listen to that, it's more powerful yeah. than, than, than <laughs> the time you did before. Yeah, that is a very strong statement. I mean, yeah. They clearly think they're guilty of something. Right. Bernal, Bernal, listen up, buddy, bucko, pal. <laughs> Tell the truth. Please. Of interest was a mistake, you think? I'm not going to accuse anybody. <laughs> I'm just my own feeling. Uh, because I just don't, uh, if you'd been, have you been up in that canyon? Who's that talking? Is that the That's friend, Grandpa Jimenez. Uh, Jimenez? Jimenez. Yep. Yeah. All right. Again, if you guys forgot who Jimenez is, Jimenez is the gentleman who, that's right, cool. uh, was been in here and getting him with four people up there. I don't think somebody could have drove in without you here in a car and turning around and looking to see who it is. I, I just don't think it's possible. There's always a possibility of some type of a nature That's take. That's Jimenez. And then yeah, yeah. in here and getting him Yeah. That's with four is. people up there. Yeah. I don't think somebody could have drove in without you here in a car and turning around and looking to see who it is. I, I, he just doesn't feel it either, right? No, he does not. 
It was a really cool been, thing to watch him say that. And and you've been in contact with him, and 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 he just. I would really love to help him come out too, and 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 want to be back on this uh, as well. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I I'll reach out to him, but I'm not sure how much public he wants to do. I just know that he definitely tell wants him, to help. Tell him. Hey, tell him we could do everything private behind the scenes. Nothing has to be done on YouTube. Okay. I don't care about the views, the clicks, any yeah, of that I mean, crap. What I don't. Are, what All right. I'll, I'll have him. Get more people and, on board. We'll do. And even if it's a three-way call between or a four-way call between all of us or whatever the. We will help, and we'll help behind the scenes, and we won't publicize it the way we. No. We'll make sure that it's okay. done the right way. Just put it that way. Yeah, totally. I'll totally get in touch with him and see if we can do anything like that. For sure, fair is fair. If it helps with the case, exactly. again, it doesn't have to be public. Nothing, nothing has to be public. Okay. If you've been up in that canyon, there's only one road in. If you've got four people sitting at a table in a campground, and two of them are twenty feet, thirty feet away in a creek. And one of them sitting right there at the fireplace, and the little boy is 20 feet away. If a car was to drive up in there, don't you think he'd turn around and look and see who's coming up the road? Yeah, I think so too. Them naming your granddaughter, you think, was a mistake? What's that? Them naming your granddaughter as an uncleared person of interest was a mistake, you think? All four people are up there, an uncleared person of interest. So all four people up there are uncleared person of interest. Has that changed since Bob's dead? Um, Bob was not dead at the time. So now all three people are suspects. Yeah. We've got, we've got Isaac, true. who's married now. We've got right. Uh, we've got Vernal, who's now uh, cohab cohabitated with somebody new, um, as well uh, as I Jessica. don't think he's with anybody. I think he's single. Uh, if he's with somebody, it's new. Um, I don't, I just don't see him in any relationship at the moment. He's kind of and a free her, guy. Is she more of like the type that needs a man, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's what she seems like. Uh, and, and her excuse to the, the her excuse for the early marriage was that um, she felt the support from him and uh, he supported her. So, you know, mentally, physically, whatever. And so that was her reason to jump into the gun. Got it. Shotgun, bring BYOS, bring your own shotgun or beer. <laughs> right? Hey, I got my coffee. Anything. <laughs> right? Coffee works too. <laughs> to disapprove or approve them anyway, either way. I'm drinking so iced all... coffee, so I get it. Somebody oh, knows well. Nobody's talking. <laughs> we're all drinking coffee. That's good. <laughs> we've all got our coffee. They are trying to cover their. An animal came and got, I mean, come on, who believes that? There would have been a large amount of blood and carnage. Number two, an abduction. We have never received a phone call for ransom. Zero that indicates. Zero that indicates an abduction or a ransom type of deal. Right. Uh, there's a, there's a I question. never understood uh, the ransom part. No one's going to throw up a ransom for a kidnapped child that they want the child. I mean, unless there's, they have, unless they're rich parents that are like, like yeah. heirs of a throne and something yeah. you know what I mean? Like, come on. There's this he's, he's also from Texas, fantasy. so maybe maybe ransom uh, means a little bit something different uh, to uh, <laughs> Probably not exactly where it's coming from. Uh, <laughs> ransom. Uh, okay. Right. No, I'm not getting into that right now. So yeah. <laughs> so Lex Luther is asking a question on the screen before I forget. And and basically they want to know about the jacket. Uh, that Dior was wearing when he allegedly got lost and being seen wearing. Sources have said this jacket yeah. was found in the home. Is that true? Okay, so the jacket, there was a jacket found in the pile of stuff. There was also um, a plastic baggie filled with some cars that said was supposedly with him at the campground. And these cars were in a Ziploc baggie shoved deep down into the couch that was about to be thrown out. Um, this is from Klein's words. Um, so you know, I believe him for a lot of things he said. I understand if some of the things aren't true, I understand why he's doing it. Um, but yeah, the coat was supposedly not the same jacket. Uh, Klein, Klein contradicts himself. So it's, it's, it's kind of a confusing situation. It's believed that it's not the right jacket, that there was lots of jackets like that because camouflage jackets were just in the family. And there's an older brother 
that um, passes down his clothes. So the jacket was mentioned to Klein as um, the jacket and then not the jacket. And then in his last Q and a, it kind of sounded like it was the jacket. So it's kind of a a confusing situation. I'm going to go with, it's not the jacket and it's, um, it's just we one of those with, like we jackets. Signs, I we can go with signs are pointing, pointing to the fact that it's not. Yeah, I mean, well, there's yeah. you can actually get the picture of that and the picture of the one he's actually supposedly wearing, and you can put it together to see if it's really the match. There are differences if you find them. So, um, the coat, you know, if it really was the coat, uh, that's that's significant to be honest with you. Very significant. Yeah, those cars be. being buried like that is significant. Um. It makes it weird. And all of his stuff was being thrown out as well. Like, you know, when you lose a child, do you get rid of their stuff? (laughs) Oh, no. In a dump? I mean, I I just blocked you on accident. I have a fat finger. Hit the wrong button. (laughs) Somebody unblock Crime and Justice, please. Oh, no. For the love of God and everything holy, my top mod I just destroyed. (laughs) I was trying to zoom in on this damn picture, but now I got all these. Uh, I'm on different screens. We What's going on? Justice for Dior. Let me get that back up. Get her back. Get her back. Oh, oh I'm reading the comment of the own nun man, the one that was drinking coffee in the Lador store. Uh, Klein oh, tracked that guy down. Um, supposedly he had a Jeep and he was creepy and he was staring at Dior and stuff like that. Um, that guy was tracked down and he isn't creepy. He goes and drinks coffee every morning. He does not remember a child. Oh, Lord. All these people were tracked down. All of them. I'll fix this. Um, yeah. yeah, so that's craziness. Okay, so uh, they're saying the parents are guilty. It's not confirmed that it was the jacket then. No. Um, Prime and Justice, don't worry. I'll unblock you. Don't worry about no, it's okay. I got it. Okay. All right. No, so. it's not, no, it's not 100% confirmed on the jacket. No. Uh, I will ask Klein that and see if I can get an answer. But, um, yeah. All right, let's listen to the rest of this. It's almost done, you guys. There was a child that was kidnapped. Bizarre case. Mysterious disappearance. Where is he? My son was gone. There's not so much as a sock, not a blood stain, not hair. I mean, nothing. They fail not one, not two, not three, but four polygraph tests. The parents are now considered suspects. Did you murder your son? Absolutely not. I didn't do anything wrong. Father's a liar. The mother's a liar. We believe they know where Dior is. That's it. Right. Yeah, I I had to put that I had to put that together because it was I'm a person who has so many puzzle pieces to float around in my head. They never get lost. They're just up there. And so I literally knew every single piece, every interview, every word. I have memorized everything. So I was able to go back and like grab each of these little pieces and put them all together. And ADD um, a- 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 is a blessing and a curse. I have it. <laughs> I have ADD. It I, have sure PTSD. I know I do. I have PTSD. I got you. I, <laughs> yeah. feel, I feel where you're coming from. I, get sure the same. Is. I have the same kind of memory kind of version yep. that you, you, you could pick up. and Yeah, especially the ADHD video. thing, man. That, that gets you right there. <laughs> right. Your brain never stops, right? Nope. Right. Never stops. Never. You're always thinking of a new plan. Always. Or the or the next the next step, right? And the next step here yeah. is the, for justice for baby Dior Jr., right? Yeah. No, uh, yeah. And- we've definitely got to keep putting his name out there, and we've got to, you know, do whatever we can to bring more light to this. And maybe the more noise we start making, the more people are going to get uncomfortable and start talking. That's yeah. I mean, he was already out everywhere. 
We just yeah. need to bring them back. We need to bring yeah, them back into saying. the spotlight. Yeah. Let you know, it, let them know that we're not gonna forget. You know, they think yeah. we've forgotten. They think we're giving up. No, yeah. we're not. No, we're not gonna forget. We're gonna keep yeah. pushing. Vernal, you know? Vernal, <laughs> hello, Vernal. <laughs> Tell the truth, pal. <laughs> bucko, bucko. <laughs> right? Chief Dior deserves Hawk. it, man. <laughs> Dior deserve, deserves it. He's. He just deserves it. Like, you know, at, not just because you want to know where he is and you know where he is. We don't know where he is. And the people who, who care about him within your family don't know where he is. Screw the public who needs to know where he is. Your family does not know where he is. They have no closure. Please give them closure. Bucko. But delicious. Vernal. <laughs> Listen up. It's time, buddy. Right. Let's lay that kid to rest the right way. We already know where he's, he's already where we all want to be, right? He's with Summer, he's with Gabby right. Petito, he's with all these beautiful babies that didn't make it. They've already got their wings, right? They, they are where we want to make it someday. And let's, let's lay him to rest the right way. It's been too long. It's been since 2015 of July, July 10th, right? Yeah. Too long. Right. 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 It's too long. It's dragging on. And you got, you got like, I mean, we Dior has a fan base, and um, we're all never gonna give up. <laughs> no, never. And and you got my word. We're gonna continue to cover this. You could come on anytime you want. Hopefully, uh, again, we're gonna continue to build you up and your channel, and uh, for what you're doing as well. Thank you for being selfless and creating the website and doing everything else on your own. Uh, that's yeah. Huge, hugely appreciated by a lot of us. It is. A lot of people can't uh, even tell you how much that means and shows that somebody is, uh, and it's not even the family, right? That their own family doesn't want to do this. No. Right, I, mean, I, think I that, am in I think contact with a couple a of people, but yeah. Yeah, I try to keep it good with the family. Um, I don't accuse them or anything, you know, on yeah. the thing. I mean, I have my opinions in public, but when I'm talking to like, you know, I've messaged Trina a few times and, and I keep, I keep mutual because, you know, like I'm here for Dior. I'm not here to bash anybody or anything. And so basically yeah. when I have questions, I ask her, uh, do I get the truth? I don't know, but it's worth asking. Right. Cause you can't go wrong with asking. Yeah. I mean, cause if you, if you don't ask, you never and, know. And because of asking her, uh, I'm, I, I got her to call um, Dean Jackson from Cold Case Foundation, and he messaged me saying that the mother called, that the grandmother called, and that their foot is in the door. So that was huge yeah. for me, but because yeah. they have to go off of the utilization of the family or the sheriff, neither of them are needing them. So yeah. it's it's confusing and it's lost. That's why I hope that Chris McDonough kind of goes outside of the box. <laughs> so I really want him to like get in there. You know what I mean? And pick it apart like Summer. I, I mean, I watch Summer's case every day and it's, it's heartbreaking. Just heartbreaking. We we'll we'll, we'll yeah. get to that in another day then too, because yeah. I want this to yeah. be just about DR and, yeah. and, and, yeah. and, and, and him. And I would love to get your thoughts on that uh, yeah. and have another panel on that. I, I would love, I mean, even another night or tonight or whenever. Uh, but I, I would definitely like to keep this just about baby uh, Dr. Uh, yes. Jr. and get him uh, the justice that he needs, and I think that's uh, very important. Yeah, very much so. And, they, and thank you again for coming on and being a voice for uh, somebody that isn't even your own. You yes, know what I mean? Thank right. you for for keeping. I his appreciate name out there. it so much. Just just to be able to get um, this out further than the page or Facebook, it, it just means a lot to me. You know, it's really hard to hold raffles and, and um, online auctions and doing something in my own town for myself because people are tired in this case. They don't think that their donations are going to go to the right place. They don't think it's going to benefit you or, or, or it's just going to yeah. be a waste. But think about it. If you're only donating $20, right. $10, $1, you're not going to go broke, you know? You're, Skip you're, your Starbucks for a day, out. people. Right. I'll start the donation. <laughs> Put your I'll coffee the, money in there. <laughs> I'll start the donations off. I'll, I'll go ahead and make a donation right after we get off here. Yeah. We'll get oh, you're amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, we, we will definitely yeah. get it going and keep it out there for you. We will. Thank you. I can't 
Can't and you, wait to see the numbers go up on the GoFundMe. It, it, it'll slowly but surely definitely happen. Yep. Again, yeah, Sweet Caroline, thank yeah. you for becoming a new member. The new members, thank you for becoming new members. Also, it goes, go over to Callie's site on YouTube. Again, it's uh, Justice for DR. Everything she does is for Justice for DR, right? Yeah, yeah Justice for Baby DR. Chat. Justice for Baby DR. Yeah. So anything... yeah, I've been putting it in the chat every couple minutes, so we're going to get on that. Right on it. So here's right. the page one more time. Let's see. Let's refresh. How many? You had 86 subscribers when we started a little bit ago. Oh, you're at 126 subscribers already. Moving oh, on up. Holy shit. Yeah. Moving that's on up. That's amazing. To the that's amazing. That's amazing. That just that encourages me to make more YouTube videos for Dior, right. you know. But yeah, right. keep yeah, keep putting it out there. And yeah. we'll check out the timeline out. video. If you're all in there, check out the timeline video. I put that together. Right. It literally is all in their own words. All in their own words. I have a timeline made of their own words, and it's all it's the timeline that is the way it needs to be shared versus, you know, YouTubers come on and they tell the story, right? But yeah, they're just they're just the storytellers. They're not completely involved, like, you know, us and a couple of other people. And so, you know, when you're getting the facts out, you're getting a lot more out. Here's, so the, video I think she's talk here's the video she's talking about. Link right here, you guys. Here's the video link. In their own words. Yeah. You guys go over there, watch it. And after you're done watching it, like, share, and subscribe. Yeah. Yeah. Don't mind notification. the little kid's voice that I used for it. <laughs> There's a little kid's voice on there that I used for the whole entire thing. And I thought it was kind of creepy and fun at the same time. So <laughs> that creepy and fun makes sense in a creepy and yeah, fun I mean... case that we need to solve. Well, think that. about it. It kind of it's kind of like Dior talking in a way. So I, I kind of liked it. Some people don't, right. but it's all right. Ver yeah. Hey, Vernal, if you go listen to the, that video on the link right there, just pretend that's uh, your son talking. Go tell us the truth. Where's that? Exactly. Yeah. Tell the truth. And Jessica. Come on, Jessica. Like, yeah. you yeah, mom. On. You yeah. loved your son. Exactly. You have to do better than that for your kid. I mean. All right. You gave right. up your two other ones, right, to a better life. Now don't give this one up. Right. right. Give this right. one up right. to God. He's already there. Give us. Give him up. Let us know where he's at. Yes. And if Klein's watching, Klein, we really hope you to come back. And uh, there's so many people trying to get you back. So don't do not back. do not decline our offer, Klein. Yeah. Right. You see what I did there? Again, that's <laughs> twice exactly. in one stream. Good one. I'm holding Good Klein job. to his word. He he cares about Dior. So right. let's yeah. let's get him on, guys. You know. Let's let's, let's have him back. be inclined to come back and not declined to come back, right. people. That's exactly. all I'm saying. <laughs> I love it. That's all we're <laughs> that's all we're doing here. Callie, again, thank you for being a part of the show today. Uh, sweet Caroline, thank, thank you, you so much for that uh, that twenty dollars super chat. Mm -hmm. And Crime and Justice, thank you for being a part of this channel also. And go over to Crime and Justice, like, share, and subscribe. Go to Callie, like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell notifications. You guys, do it for the right reasons. I love you guys, and we'll catch you guys on the flip side. And we will be back talking about Baby Dior Coons Jr. again. I promise that. All right. Fine. <laughs> Come back, Thank Klein. You. Vernal. Bucko, tell, tell us what happened. Right. Right. Do it. Later. We're not going to stop. <laughs>